not a bar. This is an end table. <laughs> <laughs> in my house, that's a bar. <laughs> I just didn't, I didn't want to get up. <laughs> I feel you. I brought mine yeah. up in the bar. I ain't going to hold you. I worked hard for that bar, so I will I will say I have a bar. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> I have a whole bar. You come over my house, you be like, hey, we need to talk? <laughs> I do have a bar. <laughs> That's how much alcohol it is. You're like, you okay? Is everything all right here? Y'all y'all doing all right? Oh, y'all pouring up? I should have poured me up something then, man. I... Oh, Richard, wait. Do you drink? You don't drink? I drink, I drink here and there, man. I'm not a big drinker, but okay. I was hey, like, I've been, hey, I've been up, I've been up to the last crib, and I, I think I offered you something. And you was like, I don't really drink like that. <laughs> and I was like three, yeah, I was like three years ago, man. A lot of shame since then. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Shit been going down, bro. I'm about to go right, you're like, Richie, how long you started? When did you start drinking? He'd be like, man, when the kids weren't going back to school, bro. Just... <laughs> nah, um, that's what I told you. I didn't drink for like five years. I was like five years sober. I started drinking like last year again. Oh word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Was it just you just like, you know what? I'm 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 gonna get back in here. We'll, we'll see what's popping in the streets. Um, you know, back we, in here? we went to Mexico. Me and my wife went to Mexico for our honeymoon and it was tequila by the pool just constantly. And I was like, damn, I'm here I am. You know what I mean? Bruh, get in life. on this, Richie. <laughs> we out here drinking, man. We we get drinking, you. baby. Hey man, but I do I do a light man. I like to drink wine and stuff. I'm a little I guess you sound bougie. I don't know if that's what they want to call it. No, nah, I'm I'm big on wines too, bro. Like I'm I have um this is uh this wine that I like. It's a uh, Bell Gloss. It's uh it has like this red wax all over the top of the bottle. Yeah. It's about sixty five sixty sixty five dollars a bottle or something like that. But it's so good, bro. Because red wine is super acidic. When you drink too much of it, like it had your bourbon feeling all crazy. Mm-hmm. And um, this is just a smooth, super smooth rock, uh, wine. They got a, uh, I think they got a Santa. They got three different versions of it from three different vineyards of it. Um, but it's it's really good, bro. Okay, I'm gonna check that. What's the name of it? I am. Bell Gloss. Audi and get some. You say what? Audie has a wine called Moiselle. Moiselle. Trust me, me. I was judging it too, but I put every, my husband put me onto it and I put everybody in my family onto it. Everybody mm. drinking now. The okay. regular red, not, Wait, who make not it? the it sweet. Audi. The car dealership? The dealership. The no, Audi, like the store out here, Audi's, the one that oh, just came. Audi. I thought she said, I thought you said Audi. I'm like, yeah, I thought you were talking like, about the car. Like, I was like, nah, I'm not feeling <laughs> that. I only drink Mercedes wine. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm more of a BMW type of wine guy. I'm not doing it. It is $6.99. Oh, <laughs> like, snap. That's going to get you wasted real fast. Two glasses there, you got to sit down. You said $6.99? $6.99 is delicious. You don't get hungry. Don't get the wine headache. It's good. Trust me. I want you to try it, and then I want y'all to report back because it's good. And how you spell this? The out the store. A L D I. A L D I. All right. Okay, I'll put that in mind. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna give me um, a button, then, man. I'll be back. Okay, we we'll pull up, man. Hey, what's well, shit? I'm gonna be the only one up here sober. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what up, y'all? As y'all come in, man. Make sure y'all hit that like button real quick. Um. I don't know where Pat is. It's his birthday. Y'all know he come late anyway, so you know he's going to come late on his birthday, but he will be here. Uh, we might have some special guests drop through. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You just you just want to be here. Um, as I said on the last show, I will have the more mods uh, cash app up so y'all can bless them at the beginning of the show, at the end of the show. Uh, or you can just remember the screen now. You can do it anytime you want to, but I'm going to always have it in my... my um, my my chat. I'm sorry, it's my name. Uh, when we when we get the show going, um, you know what I'm saying. We got a we got we got a special guest popping in right now. Uh, let me text Pat because Pat ain't even here. CP. Oh yeah, I know. I see that man. I can't say happy birthday, man. <laughs> hey, where my nigga at, man? Uh, well, I'm texting him right now. What up, Kente? Okay. CP, what it do? Man, I can't call it like an alcoholic, my baby. What's up, like Jay? Who else? Hey. Who's that? What up, Richie? Um, uh, Richie went to go grab some some drinks. So while while we got this little downtime, I'm gonna go ahead and just get the the uh, introduction started real quick. And look, everybody's pulling up, and Pat's not even here. This this is what it's like working with Pat, man. <laughs> I'm gonna give him a pass today because it's his birthday. I'm not gonna hold it against him today. If this had oh. happened tomorrow, 
I'm giving him uh, shit. Did you did you the birthday shout out for him? Like the people hit you up and like do like the video they're doing for Pat? Yeah, I did that. And then also like I got people popping in all night. A lot of people gonna be popping in just to wish him happy birthday. That's right. why Kev is because Kev was like, hey man, I can't do it tonight. I'm tired. I'm like, all right, I get it. Well, I'm just just popping in to say happy birthday to Pat. Mm-hmm. But of course, Pat's like, eh, I'm not I'm tired. I'm that boy creative. Kev say, once my head hit the pillow, hey, ain't nothing, <laughs> ain't nothing nobody could do. I, I need I need a little assistance. I thought I I thought I would come on early and I would just get up out of here. Yeah, Kev grown. Here now. I just come hey, say Kev, hi how you come. feeling, bro? I saw the Mozzie's going, man. You want to talk about it? Oh man, CP right from jump. Bro, look, wait. he was riding in his car. He tried to show the little symbol, but Toyota don't do that, do they? Toyota don't have a little symbol. <laughs> they don't have a symbol. The symbol is not a symbol. That's what the symbol is. So I, I was like, man, I felt bad, bro. Because I'll tell you Somebody, what, you were my excuse. I was using you as, I need, I, I want a new car. I want an Audi Q8. I'm telling him, I was like, Kev got a Maserati. You know what I'm saying? So not, you know what I'm saying? Like, Kev is doing it. Hey, CP, though, low key. Bruh, for like if, if you if you can do it, look at the new Corvette, bro. Oh, I saw it today. Oh, nigga, what? Yes, new bro. Corvette? They was on uh, they was on Twitter racing them with Porsches today. Crazy. The interior look nuts. But here go the bro. thing, bro. When you a dad, man, I have to sell family fitting yeah. into any car that I get. You know what I'm saying? I have to be yeah. like, babe, look at the seats in the Q8. Look at the look at the seats. Look no, at how we look at the seats. You know what I'm saying? This, this if you get that, it's a selfish gift. Don't try to don't st- upsell it. Be like, this is what I want. This is I've been working hard. I've been providing. Bro, this that don't work, me. man. I'm yeah. about to say, don't sound like CP got that same level of confidence that you got. <laughs> <laughs> You're bordering on arrogance. Like, look here, I've been working real hard. I'm gonna get what I want. See, hey, man. Like, bro, you face. know what else is hard, bro? Being here with these kids and doing all the stuff that she do, bro. Yeah, it's like, nah, bro. That ain't. I don't. I don't come to her with the hard work, nigga. That ain't the first thing you lead with. <laughs> How hard I work, niggas. You serious? That shit. Be, oh, 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 oh. You work hard? I want to hear that. I don't, I don't, that ain't the argument you want with a black woman. You know how hard it is to be a black woman? It's just like, uh, uh. And they also got. They gave birth to the kids. You can't yeah. never beat them on that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Here's the thing, though. CP has a family truck, a really nice family truck already. So he already laid the groundwork. Mm. He, he can start with that. Hey, listen. You and the girls, y'all have this. As a family, we can all Listen, drive this, but on the weekend. That was an impulse. That was an impulse buy. We walked into Mercedes, and I got approved. I was like, baby. And then she didn't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, oh, Look shit. at y'all. <laughs> you know, because, you know, your income changed, but your mindset don't change. I didn't know how I was laying. I had to, I had to, I had to be told. Hilarious. <laughs> Listen, I'm going I'm to I'm do these introductions real quick, and maybe by that time, Pat will be here. I saw some people said they were about to go uh, jump on all deaf gaming. Hopefully, Pat did not forget about tonight because I talked to him early this morning and he had just woke up. So hopefully, he comes on. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get the uh, introduction started, and by that time, hopefully, Pat will be here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's no stranger to the show. You've seen him a couple times on here. It's my doll, a very funny comedian. Um, you've seen him on a couple things that we've done with some all deaf product as well. Ladies and gentlemen, come to say I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say anything. So put your stupid hand down. Uh, we have comedian, actor, writer, director, producer, host, Mr. Kente Scott. What's going on, oh, sir? I didn't know that was all me. What's up, man? <laughs> this shit is like a graduation. Like, this next yeah. dude is one of my favorites. Everybody be like, I mean, she loved me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, I didn't know I got honors. I didn't know I graduated with honors. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, how you been, man? You, been, you holding up? Everything oh, good? Man, I've been cool, man. You know, just chilling. Last okay. week was a little crazy, but. You know, we still here. Did we shoot last week? Was that last week? We did. That was last, last week. week. Yeah, like, was okay. it last Wednesday? Yep. I All think. right, perfect. Because I was like, man, I feel like I just saw Keon. I mean, uh, Kente, and that's what it was. Yeah. Um, next up, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have everybody's favorite Crip. Uh, you've seen him on a ton of videos. It, it's so funny, R- Richie, because you got big off of that, and now it's like that's the character you hate being connected to. <laughs> Every time we say everybody's favorite Crip, Richie's face is like. I ain't be in the grocery store and people be like, I see, I'm like, bro, stop, bro. Like, please, like I haven't did a high C video in ages, man. Stop. 
That's what it is, man. I know. I know. Um, he's a actor, a thespian, um, father, husband, all around solid guy, man. I called him today. I called Richie today, and he was cycling. Like, if you go to his page, Richie does like professional cycling now. Like, he be out there riding with the the visor flipped up, the little hat, the glasses on, no shirt, just. This is how he rides too from side to he one of those riders. He's a real rider, man. Um, but just an all-around great guy, ladies and gentlemen. We have Richie or Richard Neville, aka High C, aka Richie Loco. What's going on, sir? What's happening, y'all? How y'all doing? What's up, Kev? You didn't say nothing to what's up, CP, man. How y'all doing, man? Bro, Richie, you wasn't here. I I I spoke to your chair. I'm like, Richie! I did it. <laughs> he did. He did. Let me good, tell man. you. No, bro, but now I want to be rude. What's up, my G? Yeah, this is great people. Hello, great people. Richard. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Richard. Richard Neville sound like he the president of the bank. Richard Neville's here. Listen, yeah. you're not gonna be able to get the loan. That's yeah, I tried yeah, everything. I that's the name of that glass he's drinking out of too. This is the Richard Neville's glass. It is. It's it's like I, it's like I got offered my parents if I could, right? Like, <laughs> you like if Tupac uh, went to a good school in a good community and you know what I'm saying never rap, just was yeah. cool. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, went to class. That's you. Yeah. If Tupac grew up in San Francisco instead of Oakland, he would be Richard. He would be Richard Neville. That is that is. His mama was a was a, only a black queen and not a crack fiend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like you know, different circumstances. Different circumstances. Uh, next up, ladies and gentlemen, we have somebody new to the group. It's her first time here on Zooming with the homies. She is a rapper, entertainer, uh, lightweight co comic around the house. Um, you may have seen on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. Well, please welcome to the stage. We have Jay Allure in this joint. Make some noise. Woo, woo. Welcome, welcome, Jay. Because I do do all of the things. Let me and I need a little longer intro because y'all don't know yeah, me you like got that. A voice on you. Your voice is I like your voice. Your voice is to the front. Yeah, you got a cool I do that. do some things. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Grand Where you from? Grand Rapids, Michigan. I've been in Atlanta for like four years. Like he said, I'm a rapper, I'm a podcaster. I do all of the things. So, yeah. <laughs> nice. Bartender. <laughs> um, I don't know if they get a welcome um, because they literally were just stopping by. If anybody wants to text Pat and like tell him pull up, I just told him pull up. I don't know if he's gaming or what, but he needs to pull up. Um, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know him. He is a basically a Zooming with the homies resident. I'm like the mascot. Um, yeah. <laughs> nah, I would never call you the mascot, bro. Okay, I that's cool. I, I nah, 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 nah. He's just a T-shirt to motherfuckers to see, like, Poo, who wants a shirt? That's, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's on the motorcycle favorite, man. Um, Come on, y'all. <laughs> leader of the Sea Peeps. Uh, also, um, you know him from uh, him and Reggie. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Kev. Stop yawning. I'm tired. <laughs> you on the East Coast? No, yeah, KJ. I'm in LA I mean, with you. Oh, okay. you got any muscles to take to lift the top of your head up to yawn? Leave that man alone. Hey, that was, <laughs> can't do that for like four days. Like, <laughs> ah. Oh man. I'm funny. sorry, Kev. I know you're leaving, man. Hey, shout out to Kev for putting me on keeping up your distance county show, bro. That was man, I'm Everybody just honored, man. It. Everybody says it differently, but everybody says it wrong. Nobody says it up keep your distance. distance. I was like, I didn't know what that was. I was like, is that another show Kev doing? Which one is that? Keeping up with the Pistons. Give it up for keeping up with the Pistons. Comedy <laughs> show. He said, Mr. Randy. Me up Isaiah Thomas. Oh. <laughs> uh, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we got CP on the show. Make some noise. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, next up, the uh, sleepy tyrant himself. Husband. Father, uh, battered husband, I should say. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, <laughs> comedian, actor, writer, director, thespian, and just all around solid brother, man. We have Mr. Kev on stage on Zooming with the homies. What's going on, sir? Hey, hey, guys. <laughs> you know, you know what? Smooth. Quick, <laughs> Very quick. smooth. <laughs> hey, real, real quick, though. I, I, I hit Kev up, you know, through text sometime and tell him congrats all the success Kev has done. But I really... Want to tip my hat to Kev, man, because I think Kev is like the, I don't know, you want to say the Diddy, the Tyler Perry, what of our generation, but Kev is 
Kev is Kev is gonna be doing big things. He's doing big things now, man. And I salute you, Kev. You, yeah, he, he might be still, bigger than all of them. I agree. Richie. You're homegrown, man. And I salute Thank you. you. Real talk. Real talk. Thank you, Richie. That means a lot to me coming from somebody who I respect very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate, but not appreciate. from the rest of us. That's cool, Kev. I said a couple of things on the end of it, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. Kev hates. Kev absolutely what? hates any type of compliments. If y'all saw his face when Richie was first talking, Kev was like. Uh, I'm working on that to hear. I read I the big lead. I, I saw. I saw. I was proud of you on how you responded. If uh, I said, Roddy I Kev would have been like, appreciate you complimenting your boy. You understand me? <laughs> Jesus love me. <laughs> that's a Roddy Kev. Kev. That's, that's what you would have said. Toyota Kev is like, oh. me thanks because it's really hard. You know? Oh, man. The Toyota. I just, I don't, I don't, I've been leaving the door unlocked, the windows down. Just steal it already, guys. Just Where's that? Go. Where's that? <laughs> Put me out my misery. It's back at the shop now. Is it? Yes. The AC man. still wasn't working? AC still, there's a lot of things I can deal with. I can't deal with no AC in LA. That, that's, oh, you, yeah. you asking too much. Yeah. And the valley. No, nah, yeah. in the valley, can say in traffic, yeah, you go crazy. and traffic is back. Traffic was gone for a minute during quarantine. What? People be That's outside okay. now. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Jay Allure, where you at right now? You in Atlanta right now? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta. And I'm you at your crib? Yeah. You, you at your crib? Yeah. I like that little one. On, I like that little <laughs> one on Sister Park wall. You got that little one on Sister Park. I said, look like, welcome back to the top 10. The live is top 10. <laughs> <laughs> like a half of a Rubik's Cube over there. You Yo, say what? PP, man, I just, you are so funny, bro. I, yeah. Sorry, Jay Lore. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's cool. This is my game room, though. I just see what you're saying, though. Ooh, we going to explain. got a game room on you, motherfucker. CP, you just got a game chair. She got a game room. Right. You feel me? <laughs> hey, baby. Yes. Step, I want to tell you something, CP. What you play, Jay? What up? No, CP, huh, I'm telling you something. I'm sorry, Jay. I, I, I said I'm sorry once. I'm, I'm apologizing. I'm just. <laughs> CP is so funny in so many different ways. I've seen your stand up. I you CP, I done seen CP probably five, six times. Never even seen him do the same set. Right? This man had me dying. He's funny in roasting, stand up, puppeteering, gaming. This man, CP, it's a it's pleasure to be. Muscles, bro. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be around your age and just be like watching you. I'd be like, this, this thing. If we were in the NBA, I'd be like, this nigga hooping right now. I got a lot <laughs> in my heart. Bro. I got a lot of shit in my heart, man. I feel like at our at our stage in the game, I don't want us to at, at our age. I don't want us focusing on the perfect bit. I think that our 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 age group the millennials there's so much harmony in our imperfections you know what i'm saying and i think that when, when we really embrace that like with, with like with my comedy bro it's all a conversation it's very like if i fuck up on words if i stutter it adds to it you yeah. know what i'm saying like i don't i don't really put myself in the mode of i gotta kill gotta kill but it can backfire yeah because i got on def jam and i was rambling like i do and then they edited it down and it was like oh okay all ramble 100 percent ramble <laughs> Wow. 100 rambles what y'all chose to do no snap it, there was no snap to it huh yeah me looking like boo boo the damn fool i'm like oh okay i was just on there making statements like where the ladies at click uh fellas i'm like what the fuck is going on so you got to be careful with that, that right. sucks, bro about being able to do your set and then an editor deciding what is funny and you not having no control over it uh, like that sucks bro i was so mad at drew i'm like drew why wouldn't you call i would come to a session bro be like oh i need that i said that <laughs> I need that. I said that. I need that. I need that right there. You know what I'm saying? I would come, bro. Shout out to Jeru, man. That's my brother, man. But I was hot. He he know. I was at his house like, who's this guy? This isn't even me. Been <laughs> in them editing. Bays, Appreciate man. you, bro. Thank you, man. Thank you, Kev, for the compliment. Nah, man. I and I think one thing I like about our our crop of comedians and actors, not just comedians. You know, we don't have the like. If I gotta make it, it it has to be at your expense. You know what I mean? Like uh, a lot of older head comedy, the generation prior to us, they weren't on that. Like, oh yeah, man, let me do your stuff. I'll do your stuff. Like we'd be like, oh yeah, man, I'll do your show. I'll do your zooming. We ain't really tripping. And I don't want to make it a black and white thing, but like, I'd be feeling like other people be like Judd Apatow and Adam Sandler. They be just making movies with them same people. Them People in Adam Sandler movies don't even be in other movies. If Adam Sandler ain't making a movie, neither are they. Yeah. They're not even an actor seen, no more. Like, <laughs> Adam, Sandler, Adam Sandler is the black I'm sorry, he's a, he's a white Tyler Perry. He puts mm -hmm. them in a holding deal and they just sit there to he sits in the script. But you know what though, Kev, to that point, I think that 
older comedians without the internet, they didn't have a sense of how many people are really out here. See, we oh, get a yeah. chance to see ironclad numbers all the time. And I understand that there are, there are 80,000 people who follow me. There's another 100,000 that follow. There's a million that follow. It's like, so when you start to see, when I see Beyonce got 35 million followers or a hundred and something million followers, you understand how big, oh, here you come. That's how big we understand the world is. We're, yeah. we're kind of relaxed. When you was black back then, you only knew 18 black people. You know what I'm saying? You was like, shit, I got to control this. It's way yeah. different now. And back right. then it was, the club had so much more power because if you didn't have no credits, they were coming to, this club has good comics. Mm -hmm. Or you, they saw you on TV. Now it's like, oh, I seen, I seen CP on, on Twitch. Or I seen, yeah. to here on Zoom with the homies, he's in my city, I'm gonna pull up. Like, I mean, he has so much more control. control. And I also think it's also think it's because these people, these fans now, they feel like they know you. Like these outlets, yeah. people feel like it used to be six degrees of separation. Now we're like two, and they yeah. feel like they know. They start asking stuff about your family. You're like I ain't even, you know what I mean? So they like, oh, you my cousin, cousin. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. That's but that's beneficial. Like you, we watch Will Smith go from traditional celebrity to hey, hey, happy birthday. birthday. Hey. Hey. What's up, y'all? Look at the chat, Pat. Look at the YouTube chat, man. They're going crazy in that for you. Happy bro. birthday, yes, Queen. Sir. <laughs> he said, Queen. Oh, no. Oh, stop. What's up, guys? How <laughs> hey, thank you. He's late. He's late because Pat is a closeted gigolo. Nobody know that. <laughs> he do more than twitching. I'm telling you, bro. He do more than YouTube. And Pat is throwing yeah. that thing around. I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, right. That He's laugh was like, <laughs> I'm not wearing any pants right now. <laughs> we got we got a couple people sliding through just to say happy birthday. Uh, obviously, CP and Kev are here. I don't want to step on their toes. I'm gonna let them get theirs out real quick. Oh, happy birthday, birthday video, Pat, bro. Man, you're hilarious, oh, go bro. Ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You go first. Oh my bad. Go ahead, CP. No, no, no. You go first. You go first. You go first. Y'all just uh, here for me. I just want to say, Pat, you are the most creative, one of the most creative people I've ever met. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Your your WAP video, it was so funny, bro. Thank you. <laughs> continue, Kev. Continue. Your WAP video was so funny, bro. It was. It was. It's just a. It's just a, a small example of your talent. You're hilarious, bro. You can. You can do. I don't get it. What's, look, what's the, Tahir is being Tahir thumb is puppet being Kev. Mad. And so when he talks, look at Tahir Square. Don't Every, even look at everything I said be about comedians sticking together, I now take back to here. <laughs> I hope your career stalls out. I hope this is the I hope your computer internet got a got a uh got a virus in it. I hope you don't never get no more zoom <laughs> yeah. with the home. I hope you get canceled. You yeah. sit out there and drew on your thumb. You know how I feel about why is it is so perfect at the top? It is. It does look like a thumb. Man, That's the most frustrating dog. thing about it. <laughs> like King <laughs> Kong Bundy. <laughs> we can Pat, hear you, Jay. Anyway. Jay, we can't hear you. There he is. Pat, <laughs> you're hilarious. Happy birthday to here. I hate your guts. I hope you never make it. I hope that old school. I hope the alternator go out. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Enough to hear you. You get it. It's right. Funny. It's been like seven minutes. How long are you gonna do it? <laughs> well, he drew it, so let him get it all. You know what I'm saying? Like he he sat there and drew it. it How long did, did you already have, have that lock right now? When, when you started talking, I was like. <laughs> Oh, you did it? You did it? That wasn't premeditated? That was like, so <laughs> diabolical, dog. How did you draw yourself? before Pat good? got here, though. I did it before Pat got here. But mm. once he got here, I was like, perfect. Can I this say something, though, perfect. to hear? The drawing on the thumb looked tired, too. And then Kev is tired. <laughs> so the thumb was like, man. It just it just looked so criminal and tired. It was beautiful, man. I, I, I was I love a good joke, brother. Yeah. yeah. Look how tired it looked, man. It's like, uh, my kids got me coming up to this damn school. That's what it looked like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it looks like you in, right in the uh, AE in that Mission Late movie. Duh. Anyway, <laughs> Pat, Jay, I said yeah, his bro. thumb looked like Suge Knight in that Mission Late movie. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog, that was a scary yeah. ass movie, bro. Her voice is 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 when I, when I learn what that voice means when a woman has a voice like that, it's, it's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> Pat, fucking happy birthday, man! I don't know if you saw the video. That the I did, man. Thank you. you guys. Yeah, man. Like I said in the video, man, you know, I don't know. 
I don't know if your parents wanted a son or a daughter, you know, but yeah, they got it. <laughs> Fuck you. They have it, you know, and they could be proud <laughs> of that. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, I don't know how prime looked, but I know it, you were beautiful. <laughs> Oh, I know man. you were. I know you were slaying, and <laughs> it's like no, bro, you already know, man. Much love, Pat, bro. I think you're a genius, man. Uh, it pisses me off because you, you're like a the your style of roasting is like Kawhi Leonard, like very technical. Like you read a book on it, and it's like fuck. It's like perfect form, <laughs> like Jay in your face, shoot it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just excellent roast. Um, and you just dope, man. I appreciate everything, man. Appreciate all of the all the looks, bro. Like you took roast into another level. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I definitely want to like, you know, put you in one of my movies, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and hire you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's I what, that's what I want to do, man. man. Hire you. At that's least dope, you, CP. for you to want to protect you... black women like that is super Yeah, dope, bro. bro. At least give him a Prius worth of money, a Prius worth. <laughs> we really got to look out for our Queens. Cause if we don't, Straight who up. will, man? We got to together. <laughs> I was driving down the street and I saw Pat bringing in all the waters and I was like, that nigga need a man. <laughs> that nigga need a man, bro. This is like, he, he he doing it all. You know what I'm saying? Raising them dogs? Shit. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> a 35 I imagine Pat bringing the waters in. in. You know when the waters be falling out and stuff and you just be frustrated because they done fell out the thing and now it's all... <laughs> Oh, can't bring in oh, no deal. Now he frustrated at the kid. Get in here, little Jamal. And your daddy was supposed to be a part of our life. You look at you just like your daddy. Get in here and go to bed. I ain't doing nothing, mama. He, look, he get to the door. He lifted up with his knee so he can get up the steps. <laughs> Trying to find the key. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Say, no, Pat, just leave him in the trunk and drip him four at a time. <laughs> <laughs> it went from... I, I sincere happy birthday to Rose in literally seven seconds. Because you guys feel the flame. You must just let it die out and move on. You guys started tagging it. Then it got fun. Then it came not even about Pat. It just became like a good story to tell. Anyway, Pat, happy birthday, brother. Love you, man. Everything you do for us, bro, is, you know, like, bro, you you took your, your time at the top of ADD and changed ADD, bro. That's how, that's how we look at it. That's how I look at it. You took your reign and you changed it. So I'm done. No more roasting for you. That Thank is my birthday you, gift. No more roasting for you for the next 48 hours. I will not roast back. <laughs> I got immunity. Temporary. Immunity. <laughs> you, immunity. you can let your dreads down. You could you, you could put some Maxwell on. I have no roast. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing I can say. Thank you. I'm gonna hold off on the Maxwell, but thank you. I'm just saying it's like the dreadlock music. <laughs> you would think you would think Pat was into Maxwell and shit like that, but Matt, like Pat would open up some. Some, some young thug before he does anything else. Anything else. So yeah, Playboy Cardi, young thug. I know I know real music. It's that's the only thing, you know. Okay. Disrespect. Randy and Monica Pope. The what? what happened? What happened, Jay? I feel disrespected by Pat's Brandy and Monica post. Oh, what is that? I missed it. Ooh, I saw that. He's watching like this. Kev, who's that behind you? That's Pat, bro. Happy birthday, bro. Oh shit. Oh, that's all his nipples. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, like his, that's like his parents was busy bone and prince. <laughs> hey man, you you texted you texted to me by accident, bro. But you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to show, I wanted to show you. Up. And, and at the bottom of the scene, you up. <laughs> Hold on, Pat. I'm I'm gonna I'm get it right. Hold on one second, Pat. I'm gonna get it right where they can see the whole thing. Give me one oh, second. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> you no, know, no. I, I really hope you do. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you can make it so that they can see how, the whole. How old are you today, Pat? I just turned thirty-one. You turned hey, thirty-one. Hey, my boy. Yeah, I was. You lied to me, bro. When I, bro, when I first met you, Pat, I swear you said you were like twenty-three. I've been knowing you for like four years now. No. Why would I say why would I say 23 instead of 25? That's not even like a big lie. I don't even know why. <laughs> I don't that's what I'm trying to figure out. You lied to me. That's I ain't lied to you, man. I thought you, you, were, I thought you, you were like, you said you were 23. Well, listen, listen, we didn't I didn't even get a chance to say it. this is another episode of Zoom with the homies. Um completely raw, completely unfiltered, not behind a paywall for that reason. 
Um, and because of that, all I ask you guys to do is please, please, please take care of my guests while they're here. So at this time, I'm going to ask all of my guests to change your name to your Cash App so that people can bless you with a little bit. Uh, Jay and Laura, uh, I apologize. I didn't realize today was the show I booked you on and it was Pat's birthday. So we definitely go get you in the conversation so that people can learn a little bit more, a little bit more about you. Um, and um, like I say, people are going to be popping in all night. So just just bear with us because uh, Pat is our brother. We love him. We want to make sure that we give him his flowers and he knows how much we appreciate him. Uh, hey. So just bear with us. But everybody, this is Jay Allure, um, uh, amazing rapper, amazing podcast host. Uh, <laughs> there you go, Pat. <laughs> Thank you. I think we moved on. I no, think no, we no. On. We didn't get to see. We didn't get to see you in all your glory. <laughs> he was introducing Jay, Kevin. I'm sorry, man. I was already doing the joke, Jay. I'm sorry. Jay, I've been stepping on you all night. That's your eighth time apologizing her, Kevin. I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here so I stop messing up the flow. God bless y'all. <laughs> all right, Kev. I'm about all right, to Kev. Hey, keep being, keep being great, Kev. You're the best. I love you. from president, man. 2024, 20, whatever. We got don't you. do that. I don't, I don't, I don't even nothing to do with that. Job. Overrated. God bless hey, you. Thank you, Kev. All right, happy <laughs> birthday, Pat. Jay and Lure, I'm going I'm to cash app you if that's your cash app because all I did is ruin your time tonight. Uh, it is. Yeah, okay. Great. Jay, change your name to your uh, your cash app. I'm on my I can phone. Do I can do it. I can do it for you. What's your uh, what's your cash app? That just with the dollar sign. Okay, cool. I got you right now. Boom. Say no more. Um, Jay Lord, you are a rapper. You're from Grand Rapids, yeah. Midwest, born yeah. and raised. Tell us yeah. a little bit about you. Well, like you said, I'm from Grand Rapids. I love my home. Been in Atlanta. I've been rapping for freaking ever. Um, went to Michigan State for college, then I came down here. Hey. Go green, go green. <laughs> so yeah, I went to Michigan State, um, came down to Georgia, went to UGA, been pursuing my craft this whole time, but I'm really getting, thank you, Kev. I get to bless you. Okay, he meant that when he said he was gonna cash at me. I was hey. Like, That's grocery money. Um, yeah, yeah I do it. work. So I'm working here in Atlanta. Hopefully none of my coworkers see this. I would be very upset. Um, <laughs> but yeah, all around is, I feel like I am the dopest person I know. Okay, then. So yeah, my podcast is dope. It's called Relax, Relate, Repeat. I host that with my brother, Trey. So y'all hey. can watch that. That's dope. My music is streaming everywhere. If you go to my, my Instagram, which is literally Jalore Official. You can find me there and listen to my music. I got music for everybody. Cause I rap, I do vibey music. I'm a mood. It's a mood. It's, it's a, a mood. mood. I just I followed you, Jay. So mood. Put your numbers yeah. up. Right now. Mood music. Find me everywhere. I'll tell you what, I don't know Jay at all. <laughs> but the way she came to me on Instagram was so respectful. I had to I had to show love because a lot of people come at me all wild or sideways. It's just it's a proper way to do everything. So uh, she reached out the proper way. I ain't gonna tell you exactly what she said because I don't want everybody doing it. And I'm not gonna put I can't put everybody on, man. I, I just I just cannot do it. But every now and then somebody comes through, I'll go through that page. Uh, we're gonna have another young lady on here. Uh, she's from Shot Town, she's a rapper too. They're gonna battle. Um, they gonna battle yes. rap? She's uh -oh. she's nah, it ain't like that. Is. She's more like she's more conscious with the rap. So um we're gonna have her on the show next next week. Um, but I go through the page, man. I will deep dive on yourself to make sure that you seriously uh taking your craft like to to for real. And um Jay was like that. She was one of those people. I was like, okay, and she can't correct. So I was like, all right, we're gonna make it happen. I know she didn't think I was gonna be like, like, all right, this week. I know people probably be like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hit you up and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, nah, I'm gonna throw you in the fire right now. So here's Jay and Laura. The fire. Jay, your, your, your audio keeps cutting out, Jay. I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Mm -hmm. I can hear you now. Heard that. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. We're happy to have you. <laughs> Said all that to fix everything. I'm just glad to be here. Strong, so we'll see what happens. All right. I'm a little heavy on the tequila. So. Oh, yeah, I hey. saw that pool over there. I was like, she ain't no bartender. She over. I'm gonna take a shot for her, um, this is I'm gonna take a shot for Pat. Yeah. Hey. What's up, Jay? 
Uh, I think some people some people must have got here late. Um, she said it already, but she said she had a husband, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so fellas <laughs> and ladies, she is off the market. I uh, saw a couple of people like, yo, is she single? Hey. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> hey, so they, what's up with us? Uh, hey, you Jay, when did you when did you come out of state? I'm on your page right now. I see, you know, I was uh I'm a noob from state, so I see you know like Los, I see you know uh Rax. Oh, what? Stop it. Yeah, hey, man. Hey, don't be a pie. hater all your life, dog. Don't be a hater all your life. What you mean don't be a hater all my life? Oh, anyway. six. That's what's up, man. 2016, I graduated 2016. Okay. Is, okay. is this Greek stuff? Are you guys doing Greek definitely stuff? Greek stuff. But see, me and, me and her <laughs> yeah, are from the same like yard. This. So she was on the yard with all my babies, all my little noobs. You know what I'm saying? All of the, the, the noobs that I made, man. You know, I crossed in 06. Oh. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Legendary. Right. Legendary. You, you need to, you know, do your, do, do your lineage. <laughs> Ask about me. So, um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just saying, for real, I was, I was, I was, I was one of them major noobs. But um, that's major. dope, though. Like, see somebody from Michigan State, you already got a fan, man. I right, just follow you. You know, uh, Nicky Madison, else coming so you in know the... Kurt. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. We got somebody else popping up real quick. Hey. Man, scoop, hey. scoop. Scoop, scoop. Oh, uh, Meg Scoop. Meg is Scoop. Speaking of Greek stuff. <laughs> right. He jumped in. Soon as we did the Greek roll call. She's like, wait, wait. Somebody said something about some red. Here I am. What happened? <laughs> What's up, sister? What up, Megan Scoop? Hey, y'all. I'm tired. Hey. I had to pull up for your birthday. What's up? Hi. What's up? What's up? What you doing for your birthday? Man, I'm already a little drunk. <laughs> I had to take a little nap. Uh, shout out to the village. They got they surprised me with so much stuff, including this gaming chair. Oh, that's Just dope. dope. And yeah. Uh, and you haven't even met half of them. <laughs> but I know them. You know what I mean? Oh, that is like kind of weird and really cool at the same time. <laughs> hey, got low key shit on your gift. That's no, that's just crazy. dope, man. Shout out yeah. to Cloud Village, man. Well, so no, no, no. The, the, the gift is dope, but it's kind of weird because like they don't know you, but like you still I feel like all, they, yeah, the gift is flying, but I don't know why they would give it to you. They don't know you at all. Yeah, what are you talking about? You you don't know your mommy needs a podcast break, fan. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know them. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's a, no, but happy birthday, Pat. I'm so happy for you. Oh, and now, like, are you are you in your harem gonna do anything today, tonight? My harem? No. Yeah. <laughs> harem, like a bunch of ladies. No. Oh. oh sure. Me and my harem aren't doing anything. It's uh dominoes and uh chilling type of night. Okay. Sorry to hear that, man. <laughs> all y'all. Fat <laughs> line to all y'all. Yeah, it's dominoes. He don't want to tell it's everybody dominoes. on the wheel. That's what I do on my birthday. To, I hang out with my you parents. You to stack all them harems up. All right, no. I can stack I like, them harems I up. I hang out with my family. Mm -mm. Hey, we got CT uh -oh. coming. Hey. CT coming? Team CT all day. All day. It's for the kids. It's about the kids. <laughs> Meg, you didn't want to, uh, you know, throw a comb through that real quick, or <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can still get it on your birthday, okay? I know we got the same exact hairstyle right now. <laughs> say, we twinning. We are twinning. For real, for real, y'all both. We are like I wore my hair like this for you, so I could. This is my Patrick Cloud hairstyle. Hey guys, I ain't gonna lie. Both of y'all look like y'all best friend called y'all crying late last night. And we've been up ever since. Hey guys, Can my Patrick. Oh God, what damn! What up, CT? Hey, why you come in looking like that? Hey, oh, oh man, you was froze, nigga. <laughs> you little, oh, let me get a number oh. five with a uh, got Sprite or Sierra Mist. He's <laughs> I said, Look, hold on. I can't you. see anybody. I can't see anybody, oh, but man, I will like, say, like, uh, what's up, y'all? And I wanted to say, man, major love and happy birthday to Pat Cloud, one of the best hey. guys doing it. To hear more, I love you. I hope you guys are well. This nigga's on a doorbell. <laughs> hey, appreciate you, what man. You, you need a ring shout out. 
Put some packages back. I'm in a rant right now, man. I guess the connection isn't good. So, I appreciate uh, yeah, you, I CT. All right. All right, CT. Yeah, man. Thank Dark you for and mysterious. Uh-oh. You got a Versus logo. There you go. <laughs> there it is. I didn't expect this, man. This is crazy. The Cloud's birthday. How you feeling, oh, bro? Oh, we got Cleo in here. What's up, Cleo? Another day, another year, man. How you feeling? Good, man. Tired as always. How are you? I'm good, brother. <laughs> Finally recovered. How your neck feeling? Oh, it hurt. It's swollen. Yo. What happened? You can't, you can't just ask that. Oh, you need some back how's stuff, your neck? What the hell is that? Oh, y'all just now seeing the neck tattoo? Yeah. I saw it on, oh. I saw it on, the, uh, on the gram. Oh, that's dope. He got it blasted, bro. He went and got the Legend of Zelda shield. That's Link's shield tattooed mm -hmm. on the side of his neck. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was a birthmark. Protect your neck. <laughs> You better get the blurb ready for that, because you got to say that every time somebody asks you, what is yeah. that? Hey, what, what is, is that on your neck? It's a legend. Shield, Master Zelda. Shield, uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's real abstract. You're going to get tired of that shit. You're gonna start is that from Breath of the Wild, though? No, that's, that's, that's from all of them. Period. Okay. That's just Link Shield. That is the shield. That shit hurt. Games, yeah, I was about to say, I know that shit felt like you were dying. It you better not oh, ever man. get a regular job, OK? That neck tattoo says, I do not work a regular job. I that, have to work for the, myself. That is the whitest gangsterest tattoo I've ever seen. Who gets a tattoo on their neck of the Legend of Zelda? Hey, protect your neck. <laughs> protect your neck. It has a deeper <laughs> meaning. I ain't catch that one. That's a good protect one. Your neck. That's a good one. Right. It is, man. How long did it take, tonight, man? man? I apologize again to uh, Jay Allure, man. I'm going to get you back on the show, man. A show. Um, I just got to make sure I, I, I let my brother know he's loved, man, and he's appreciated. So uh, we're going to yeah, have people I, popping in and out. I, I'm good. I'm sipping my drink. I'm they trying to be petty to hear, but why she the only one get apology? Me and Richie was the only ones on the flyer, too. It's, it's, a, it's, it's her first, first time, Kente. It's her first time. Oh, okay. okay. Gotcha. I'm just hoping I don't get embarrassing on camera. That's all. Mm -mm. No. They get Good. We had somebody take their shirt off on Monday. You good? Hey, hey, shirts got to come off then. It's 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 Tuesday, Wednesday. What it is? You <laughs> <laughs> should take a shirt off. Uh, what's up, Heidi? What, what up? Heidi? I just came in to wish you happy birthday, Pat. What's up, Heidi? Thank you, man. Hi. I appreciate that. What's up, Heidi? I just How moved, so I'm like on my divorce dad type stuff. I've got like a uh, like paper cups and like trash on the ground. But I women, to dead. Why do Before women, dead? you're the only one who can see that, Heidi. Women be like, I know my house is a mess. Look at this right here. This is <laughs> wouldn't even right. know it. This banister is cracked. Like, come on, like, this is <laughs> Women are hilarious. First of all, my apartment is cute, CP. Oh, wait, it's dark out now. You can't really see, but. Gonna show outside. <laughs> on them. Let me show you the view. <laughs> Happy birthday, Pat. Thank you, Heidi. Yay! How is everything? How's the new spot? You know what? It's cute. I'm excited. It's cute. All right. I got a deal. You know, I got that that pandemic deal. My lease was up, and I was like, "And I'm gonna go over here." <laughs> That's how you do. Leave her alone. I love Heidi, dog. <laughs> Met Heidi, she was trying to, she was about to beat my ass and she didn't know me. And so I didn't know she was a comedian. So I'm walking in, what up, what up? She's like, who are you? I'm like, I'm motherfucking CP. Who are you? She's like, I'm fucking Heidi. And I was like, what the fuck? What happened? We was at Jam. Like she didn't say it like that. Did she? I did. Well, I was loud. You know me. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah. like, man, who do, you, who do you think you are? Like, no, I think, I think we were like, there was a show and then you were like, who are you here to see? And I was like, um, who am I here to see? Like, I think it was something like that. Yeah, and I, I was like, be, I didn't need to come at you that me. hard. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, I'm really working on my defensiveness. Uh, yeah, he, he needed it. He needed that. You know, what's, come on, just go on here. What's up to uh, Cleo and Meg? You know, I don't see you guys often, but I think you guys like. Richie, it's been some time, brother. Yeah. How you feeling, man? Oh, all right. <laughs> Hold on, we got we got somebody else sliding in real quick. Uh, Tony Baker. What? Oh man, look at Tony Baker. Oh, we all man. Well, everybody slide through my back. In this thing, the Pharaoh. Good afternoon. 
What up? <laughs> no. Pull up and burn. I left my Twitch for this. They live right now, and I said, hold up. I had to jump in this. Tony on the same thing. Tony was on Twitch, too. I hit him up, and I was like, Somebody yo, check your email. He's like, I'm on Twitch right now. I was like, man, pull up on your phone real quick, bro. Tony Baker don't never be in one spot. I got the whole group on mute. They don't even know what's going on right now. Tony in the Matrix. What's, what's up, up, Tony? TV? Yo, what up, man? Happy birthday, Pat. All right, y'all, I'm out, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's real though. He ain't paying attention no more. Tony, he's back to the game. What you playing, Tony? Man, yeah, I, I tried to tell him I'm on Twitch. He's like, man, pull up. Like, right. I was like, just pull up on your phone for a half second. You could dip. You could dip right after that, Tony. I appreciate you, man. What you playing, Tony? What y'all talking about? Here? I'm playing COD. Oh, okay. Hey, man, I gotta jump back in with you. That was fun. Oh, yeah. man, yeah, anytime, man. So he need to get in on this, man. Come hop on when you finish, Listen, man. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm going to do it. It's just that after I do this, I'll be sleepy, bro. So I ain't going to stay up and play video games no, for three hours. No, 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 no. You got to be sleepy to hear. You got Vienna sausage fingers. You cannot play no games oh, with nobody on oh, screen. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, with the rose. With the, and then she goes to the little anime smile, like. Me. <laughs> Why are you giving me an anime smile? Because you like an anime smile, like the eyes get real, like. That's yeah. so racist. That's Can't leave away. <laughs> Yay. Yo, Pat, how old is she? is Asian, so that is kind of racist. I get it. That's so racist. <laughs> Hell of funny, though. Hell of funny, fuck it. Hell of funny. Anime smile. <laughs> Yo, Pat, how old are you, man? You said what? How old are you? I just turned 31. Wow. Yeah, I thought you was younger than that for some reason. Yeah, when did you turn 30? 30? I said the same thing. Last year. What do you mean, when did I turn 30? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not alone can answer that. He's trying to hey. catch you in a lie. He's trying to catch you in that lie right quick. Uh, three years ago. I mean, I mean. <laughs> bro, don't lie. Hey, bro. Man. Pat, Pat told me he was like 25, bro. When, I, when we first met? We first met, bro. You said you were 25. I don't know. How long ago was that? I don't know why you lied to me, Pat. But How long ago was that? Was it six years ago? <laughs> no, it was like four years. It was definitely six years ago. Oh, damn. Touche. Touche. <laughs> when your, when your man, when your you man don't, know, don't really. add up, you be mad for no reason. Yeah. That's a big ass man. When I met you six years ago, <laughs> you told me it was 25. Hey, Tony. That's a big glass of wine, CB. That's a big oh, ass glass of wine, bro. I don't trust a nigga a timeline with that kind of wine. Like, it was eight, yeah, man. Oh, hey, I'm a goblin. I'm a goblin. Like, you can't be on the stand with that. How long ago was it? I don't know. 55. 55. <laughs> it don't matter. You got that Game of Thrones glass over there. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I want to get my back, you know? Hey, Tony. Yo. You got that cool uh, cool uncle that still plays video games, but sent your nephews to the store, wife beater on right now. Oh, Go man. Get I said 40 ounces in the pack that, of was that was specific. <laughs> that was so specific. That was super specific. I thought yeah. you were asking about somebody that you knew. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was me. Hey, kids, hey, kids, I've been to four stores. Y'all got the uh, cool uncle that still play video games, <laughs> sit and sit in the store, wife beat us. Damn! All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, listen, How many people in here? What's up, Cleo? Mr. Baker, how are you feeling, brother? Cleo Thomas in the building, man. It's like work, man. Had to pull up. It's Pat's birthday. My man went and got a whole neck tattoo. I came home last night from dinner and I'm lit, like lit drunk. And I look at the phone. I'm like, nah, I can't. I went right what to sleep. I, what I, what the next happened? What check. He really got a neck tattoo? You got a neck tattoo? Look at it. Look at it, look at it Tony. To look at it. Oh, you, you a Zelda thought now. Oh. I don't know how to find him on the. Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are you supposed line. to put cream on it or something? Yeah, or like, have, like have it, have it cut? Yeah, why is it? Yeah, why it ain't greasy? Where I look old when I'm trying to find Pat on the thing. Put the wrap or something on it right now. Wait, well, cue well, it up. Y'all just, y'all just fill with judgment. That's what, that's what you, all you guys are, just judges. There's a what is it? Don't get an infection. That's what we trying to do. That's why it wasn't greasy. That is gonna slide down to your chest. What is that, Pat? It's a shield and a sword. It's a what? A shield and a sword? The birthmark. Uh -huh. The oh, Zelda oh, shield. That's, that's the shield and the sword placement. Yo, happy birthday, Pat. 
Sosa in the building. It's, it's too. the offense oh, and the Sosa, defense. my friend. Man. Okay. He, he can't. He can't. He didn't hear you. Uh, See, that's the uncle. That that's the uncle right there. Everything you. That's what you're gonna put on your neck. All right then. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a new port tonight. <laughs> hey Pat. Somebody else hey, just showed up real quick. Oh snap! What's up, Sosa? Hey, happy birthday, bro. What it do? Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody's just in here, you know. Shout out my guy, shit so about so. high as hell. Um, everybody just talking shit about me. What'd you say? Oh, none. That was a high conversation. <laughs> you ever like, you ever like, put two kids on Facetime that don't know each other? You be like, all right, all right, <laughs> third cousin. All right. All right. <laughs> Say hi! Say hi! Say hi! This is this your cousin! This is your cousin! cousin. Alright. <laughs> I don't know why he acting shy right now. All right. I don't know why he acting shy. Right now. You got Spider-Man on PlayStation? <laughs> I just love the fact that all of us can come together, man, and celebrate it. Other man to show this much type of love, bro. Like this is a this this is a hell of a class where we are just like <laughs> truly friends and we can all appreciate each other and and love on each other. Like this, so. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Everybody want to hear this tender moment. I like it. I like it. Like it's just it. real like nice when we can come together at the table. <laughs> Hey, my boo, get this man off the screen. <laughs> hey, from the shadow, you're shit, yo ass. It was, <laughs> it was, it was so genuine, bro. Hell yeah, there's that uncle right there. Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Rick. Yeah, we got a hell of a class, y'all. It's, it's just saying something. We can all put our differences aside and just <laughs> talk to one another about hopes and dreams. Shut your ass up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm the only one who liked it to hear. I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh, I really care about. I really care about each and every one of y'all, even though you don't believe me because I'm too uh, impressive. Hey, somebody mute Heidi's mic, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Martin just showed up. Working <laughs> 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 yeah. just got to doing all chest and arms. He ain't uh. done shit else on them legs. He <laughs> 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 got SpongeBob legs. Hey, with your SpongeBob teeth, my man. Hey, man. <laughs> God damn it, I'm out. I'm out of here. Damn. Damn. Damn it, oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> we don't snap back. God damn it. No, I, I, that was good. That was good. That was, I, yeah, Yo, it's I, a gang up here. What up, Keon? Happy birthday, Pat. What's up? Thanks, man. Appreciate oh. it, Keon. Hey, it's Pat, good. I feel like every time somebody come on, you should take a shot. You ain't really fucked up. This nigga going to die. Oh. Hey, oh. that's what I was saying, right. boy. Pat look, that's not Pat look done, bro. He's already done. Ready to go. I'm actually not what's up bad. to everybody else? There's a lot of y'all in here, so it's whatever. Gonna get worse. What's up, Keon? Yeah, what up? Put and make sure y'all take care of Pat for his birthday, man. Bless him with something, man. He got his uh, cash app up there. Bless my bro with something real quick, man. Um, and, and hook him up, man. We are, we definitely appreciate it. He'd appreciate it. Pat puts out a ton of content, man. Um, all the time, all day, every day. And so uh, make sure you take care of my bro, Yo, man. Uh, hey. Bros remix to WAP. The bro. Bros remix to WAP, though. Put, yes, put Let it out, Pat. Let's talk about Weak this. We can't yeah. speak. It keeps slipping out. For, uh, What's up? <laughs> hey, hey, wait. I apologize to everybody involved. Also, what are you doing? Also, for the twerk. Um, that nigga finna get that nigga. Happy uh, birthday yeah, for real. Hey. Brother, this girl, <laughs> this girl, for, this for hey. I'll be back at four. Pat, did you say I want you to park Ooh. that big fake butt? <laughs> it's it's I'll, be, I'll be right back. <laughs> right on Thomas, that's us. Hey, Jay and Lou is doing oh, judging Jesus. all of y'all on the low key. She over there like something wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah, I don't hate it. Okay. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, though. I just hate it. I got to roll man. out. Pat, happy oh, birthday. Wow. Happy it's birthday, good. Pat. You Thank you. I was okay. stopping by, man. I appreciate it. All right, then. Oh, Thank you, man. All right, Richie. I'm about to, I mean, uh, I'm about to live, too. All right, man. I'm about to be on Twitch, y'all. Right, there's too many people talking at one time. My nerves are bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> he, hey. out. he just left. He left. Tony never him. stopped playing Call of Duty. <laughs> he never did. He never will. <laughs> That's super dope. No. Well, listen, man. Um, let's let's get the rest of the show going, man. Um, what y'all been talking about, anyways? Nothing. We uh we was talking about we actually didn't get into anything. People kept popping up and just hanging out, man. So we, we got the uh, only new person here really outside of actually Will has never been on the show. We, so we gotta get Will on a full episode of Zuma with the homies. I don't know if you know Will uh Keon, but Will no. Will, What's up, bro? Uh, content creator. He's actually one third of the arcade tokens. It's him, Cleo Thomas, and Pat. Um He's also a rapper. He's also a graphic designer. He also designs T-shirts. Will does a lot, man. And he's from Texas. Will be rapping? He, huh? Yeah, Will, Will, Will be rapping. Rapper. Will got a project out. Uh, what is it? Blueberry lemonade or blueberry? Blueberries and lemonade. lemonade. Yes, sir. That's hard, bro. Don't you want to smoke? Love that record. On some on some Texas shit, you know what I'm saying? But he also has never seen a lot of shit that you think Texas people should see. Uh, so also don't don't trust his don't trust him at face value, all right? Because Will ain't shit. Yeah, Will, what part of Texas are you from? Port Arthur, UGK. Okay, y'all have a good show. Happy birthday, Pat. Bye, Heidi. Thanks for stopping. Bye, Heidi. Bye. Bye. All right, y'all. So let, I feel like because uh, Jay Allure is new, we all should ask her like three or four questions and put her ass on blast. Damn, okay. Say less. Okay, uh, Jay Lord. What's up? Um, <laughs> I'll kick it off. How long have you been married? Mm. Uh, what's the regular job? Because you said you had a regular job. And do you have kids? Listen. Almost. I've been married almost three years. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I work in adoption, so I work with family. Oh, that? Hey, bro, can I show some of your stuff? Oh, right. You don't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. Tosa, mute yourself real quick. I ain't trying to get mute the yourself. video flag. <laughs> All right, I'm muted, Tosa. I'm no. muted, Tosa. Go ahead. I work in adoption, though, so I work with families that want to adopt kids from foster care. Beautiful. And, damn, what was the third question? Uh, <laughs> you got any kids? Hell <laughs> Lord, thank you, Jesus. Hello. I have been blessed. No, I don't have no kids. I don't want to be learning with these little niggas. No. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Bad for having kids now. I know. I'm, I'm offended. <laughs> Jesus. I was about to be like, you're an amazing woman, Jake, till you gave that last answer. <laughs> we need no kids. Right now. <laughs> like, we've been married three years. I, I help people find their angel, their little angel. They can't have none. You got kids? Fuck them kids. <laughs> Keon, your kids are adults. I mean, uh, Kente, your kids are adults, so you shut your ass up. Kente's don't, kids. Don't, don't say plural. I got one. one. <laughs> he said, hold on, man. <laughs> I don't know who the rest they claim in his mind. I got one that's on my, used to be on my taxes. But your your daughter is 29 right now. And you can't really say. So, I mean, so I, I, I enjoy the, the, the realness from her answer. Like, fuck these kids. I didn't have mine on. I'm, she, I don't know if she's listening, but I didn't really have mine on purpose. Damn. <laughs> That's real. That's real. He <laughs> was, you know. It was like, hey, it ain't never happened before. <laughs> All right. Hey, Jay, that so, Jay, All right, so whoever else you? got got questions next, let's, let's grill has. Let's get her on here. She, she part of the family. This is what you do with family. Grill has. Whoever got, who got some. Pick and choose. What you say, Richie? Um. I said, I said, so you, so you definitely one of those, I don't know if you're an auntie or not, you definitely one of those people, if you take a picture with a kid and post it on the gram, you like, auntie, baby, or my God, baby, you put that shit out there, you put the disclaimer out there, right? It's a lot of girls who do that, they like, hell no, like, kid up the street, like, <laughs> nanny duty, like, fuck that. 
and my niece are the love of my life. But just right now, no. I see my sister got three kids. That's all I need. And so look at that. No thanks. <laughs> mm. All right. Anybody got questions? I got a question. I got a question. Got a question. How long have you been back. rapping? And can we get a hot 16? Oh, shit. I've been rapping technically since I was eight. I would give you a hot 16, but the tequila kicking in, and that means. Uh -oh. I don't you want to start rapping like to hear? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, man. <laughs> wait a minute, man. She can rap. They're going to be like, she can Hurt the damn. I'm not looking at listening to none of her music. No, I'm not doing it. <laughs> okay, okay. You gonna start slurring or what? You gonna mess up the words? Give us a, a 16 that's tried and true that you would bring to Sway in the morning. It's his birthday. It's his birthday. Hold on, hold on. I'm let me try to get back into like a tried and true 16. Yeah, just picture me as Sway in the Maybe morning. I'll give you an eight. I don't know. I don't know how far I can go. <laughs> give us four, eight, eight eight I don't cool. even know how to count. Cool. I, I would eight. actually take four. A hot four. Okay. A yeah. nigga. It's dope as me. When my flow sound like I've been rough riding in the truck with flow a tree. I remember I would beg for them to notice me. Now I need no intro. Yeah, they know it's me. Thinking you could get a step ahead, that's impossible. Leave them other bras shook up, feeling hostile. What you know about the pretty chick with the God flow? Bet they know the lady been sick. That's the gospel. Honest. Truth give it to them even if they don't want it. Who coming at the kid like you been on it? You not a threat to me, baby. I promise. No, really, I promise. Cause I body this track, whatever. I body your fave and your fave if they was wrapped together. Yeah, you know me, rap forever. That's why them boys coming at me never. Cause they know that the flow so cold when I'm spitting the poem. And that anything goes, yeah, that's what I've been on. Don't be coming at me wrong and I'll leave them alone. I just tell them, watch the tone when you approaching the throne. <laughs> hey. 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 Yo, let's go. Yeah. All right. yeah. Old oh, trusty. <laughs> My turn. Ooh, Rich. I got no. <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> a nigga yeah, took that defensively. I'll oh, wait till they yeah, see it. No. Hey, Jay, I like how you humble bragged and be like, wait a minute, I've been drinking. I can't even get this shit right. Give me two seconds. <laughs> Fuck with my throat. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. It's more, but I just couldn't get there. That was dope, though. That I was, was dope. dope. She yeah. was like, oh, man, I'm so drunk. I can't even do it. From the streets I come, I came <laughs> through with a gun. Nobody was stuck. <laughs> it's just like, God damn. He had that in the chamber the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like, they gonna have the tips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if I can do it, man. <laughs> like, myself, they would be like, oh, she drunk. Oh, but <laughs> No. Okay. Somebody Chris got Beck. Who was that? That's Chris Beck. Chris Beck. He don't even know he's back. Seventeen dollars, motherfucker. <laughs> what? What's going on in Chris's life right now? <laughs> so what are you doing, bro? Because I'm at a house party right now. I don't want to tell he you. He's back in Texas, man. My bad Chris back in his best life. He's back in Texas. He fifth wing swinging and all that shit, bro. Chris is having a great time right now. Hey, my bad, my bad, guys. We're just out here winning the lottery. I'm so sorry. You out there winning the lottery? Winning the lottery? <laughs> you want seventeen dollars? That's hilarious. Hey, that's a dub. Okay, so that's a dub. <laughs> Not at the taxi today. <laughs> I was like, boom, boom, boom. Chris, you owe me $300, motherfucker. I know you in there. <laughs> I don't like how relaxed Keon is right now, hey, what are you I don't like, I don't like what this nigga got going on, bro. Let's ruin, let's ruin Keon's night real quick. <laughs> I'm over here watching this game. Bro. I'm watching the game, too. I like it. I'm doing the same thing, bro. I don't watch Keon, shit to the fourth quarter. Keon is too relaxed. This is what this is what Pornhub sees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Happy <laughs> birthday, bro. <coughs> Appreciate you, man. Thanks for pulling Happy up. Birthday, Pat. I'm gonna get out of here, man. Appreciate you seeing to have me on here. What's up, bro? Man. Enjoy your shit. All right, Chris. All right, brother. Richie, I know you got to go too, man. If you got to dip, bro, I, I, yeah, I, I got to I, I, I do too. I got to put these kids to bed, man.
No. Oh, here we go, Keon. Get your ass off, bro. Yeah. Get your pretty family ass on out of here. My wife, my wife's friends in there, so I'm trying to avoid that till she come back here and give me like, back here so far. <laughs> Richie over here using us. Good player. Good hey, player. Yeah, really, Richie, really Richie hit me earlier. Was like, man, I'm sorry. I agreed to this already, and uh, I just realized my wife got people coming on. I was like, well, just stay till you can. He's like, don't tell me that. I stayed the whole night. The whole time, I'll be like, today here needed me. He needed me. It was just me. I was co-hosting tonight. He needed. <laughs> <laughs> you went and got the goblet of wine. Like, look, no, I need this. They drinking exactly. in there. They drinking in there. <laughs> We drink it. <laughs> the goblet? Yeah, the guy came out like he was drinking with two hands. It's all part of the show, I swear. Hey. Oh, I got thirsty. I got pretty big hands too, so like, yeah, this still a big guy. <laughs> <laughs> that big, bro. My hands. Damn. God right, damn. Go on. Man, <laughs> somebody friend. said Richie Mary. Richie, they don't know you've been married for a while, bro. Bro, I just celebrated 14 years. Man. Oh, shit. Hey, Beautiful. Congrats, bro. 14? Beautiful. How old are you, 14 of them things, baby. Oh, Beautiful. Congratulations. Yeah. Damn, she figured out how I'm going to do 14. You were what, three years in? <laughs> Look. Yeah, I can tell her face. She said, this shit is getting hard. <laughs> she didn't say it like that. Like, congratulations. <laughs> We've been together for 11 years. So oh. it's been a long time. <laughs> OK. Hey, hold on. OK, I got a question. <laughs> I got a question, Every, Jay. Right. How you was y'all like dating for eight years, and then he asked you? Yes. Mm. Okay, cause folks be like, I ain't staying past three. So what made you stay them extra five? Well, I'm I'm only twenty six. So oh, okay, go on. Go on. <laughs> we've been together since I was fifteen. Uh, All right. So we were children, is why I stayed that yeah. long. <laughs> we're in college. You were in the same class. Okay. Then, like, he got engaged when I graduated, well, when we both graduated college. So it was, right. when nobody finna get married in college, we was broke. We was broke when we got married. We should have waited like another year or two, but we thought we knew what we was doing, so. They say you're supposed to wait, uh, you're supposed to be with somebody seven years to know if you want to marry him. So I don't, what, this. I don't know what the whole <clears throat> rush is if people, people, if people are <laughs> pressured to get married after three, that seems like a divorce waiting to happen. Mm. Yep. Man. What you there, brother? Seven sounds good to me. Damn. You know what, man? The interesting thing about marriage, like, is it's it's the proximity, right? It's like you're around this person all day, especially since quarantine, right? And my question is for you, Jay. You know, you've been a woman. Like I told my wife, like, I came in one night, she in the bed laying down. I'm like, yo, what's up? You know what I mean? Let's let's do this. But then she was like, for real, and I looked down and I had a a mustard stain on my shirt probably says lunch. You get what I'm saying? Oh, so you were broke. <laughs> you weren't even. I'm a like, what would you want to sleep with that, Jay? So, so how do you, you and your husband, is your husband with you right now? How y'all been like keeping it spicy and whatnot? Y'all been role playing or is that too much to ask? It's not too oh, much. Yeah. It's too much to ask. So probably walk in here. Um, but <laughs> I think I'm, I think I'm good. Um, yeah. we don't be role playing. I'm interested. I just be. Trying to try and when I'm not interested is what I'll say. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. So I think women, I think all women be like, man, I've been looking at you all day, dude. You had crumbs on the side of your mouth. But we, see, I, I work from home, but he doesn't, so I don't see him all day. Oh, okay, oh. okay. We on, a, we on a regular schedule, except for I just be sick of being here. So only thing that be only issue that we have is that he be home and I'd be like, I'm ready to go to bed or spend all your time with me because I ain't seen nobody all day. And he like, girl, I need to be by myself. Cause I've been seeing people all day. All day. Damn the limb, the limb. So, uh, let me ask. Let me ask you. Let me pose this question to Richie and to uh, to Jay. Cause I think you guys are the only ones married right now. Um, for me, I know how I am. I, I need my personal space. I need some time alone. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I appreciate Fan for for understanding that. So once a month, I get a hotel for the weekend and then that in that same month she'll get a hotel for the weekend do you guys feel like you have a the type of relationship the type of marriage where your your spouse your significant other would understanding you need in that personal time and just to be able to get away or is that even something that you would ever consider i feel like for me he would probably be like why because like i said i am always here <laughs> so, 
I be by myself all of the time. For him, I see myself being a little annoyed with that because I feel like I only get a percentage of his time anyway. But he has his Monday. Every Monday he go out and hang out with his friends every single Monday for the most part. So he got that. But bring <laughs> bring that ass home is how I feel. You can't get in a hotel though. Yeah, hanging out ain't the same thing as a hotel. Hey, <laughs> it's my compromise. Um, <laughs> uh, did, you hear, did y'all did y'all negotiate that? Did y'all talk that out, or did you just be like, you know what, I'm finna go get a hotel? And she's like, okay, no, <laughs> no talking about it. Nah, yeah. it's, it's 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 she she understands and and recognizes that I'm moody. I need my space, mm. and I think it's like it's something it's something to be attributed to the fact of creating the space to miss your significant other. Mm -hmm. And also yeah, like yeah. just having that personal time. Like like when, you, when you, you get married, you move in with somebody, you guys accept all of each other's flaws, you accept all of each other's wants and needs and all of that. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with having that personal time just for you where you don't have to cook dinner, you don't have to clean up, you don't have to answer anybody. You can literally, like if you want to lay in bed, literally for two days, you could do that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Um, and she she agrees with that. So it's really about finding somebody that that understands your point of view, but also like respects your point of view. Because right. I know I know a lot of people who feel like I do, but don't feel confident enough to bring it up to that significant yeah. other to suggest something like that. I assume yeah. most would be scared to say some shit like that. That's why. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, want what? You want to yeah. do what? Yeah. Who? Well, if I come there and say like, yeah, I'm gonna get a room. What's her name? Like you would get a room for what? You got a room at the house. Right? <laughs> yeah. you get another room. But I feel like if that was normalized, you wouldn't get those situations where I people agree. felt like trapped in that relationship. Because like yeah. I was literally just on uh, Meg's podcast, "Mommy Needs a Break," and this had more to do with you know being around kids too much. But she was basically she she basically told me like she has to pretend to go to the bathroom. And then she just goes in the bathroom. And she's just like, oh, shit. Like, you know what I mean? And it's just like, if you, if we normalize, you know, being able to like take a, take a second away and just having, you know, some shit to yourself. I don't know. I feel like you wouldn't have that problem so much. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I, I feel you. Cause sometimes my wife be like, I go to the bathroom. Like I shit like five times a day. Truthfully, it's probably only twice. I'm not doing right. nothing in there. But just like sitting there like, man, I cannot go back out there. Like, I, yeah, I don't want that. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you need your breaks, bro. And then, like, I get in the car, I don't even listen to music. That's how much, like, I think a lot of I just you have my thoughts, bro. You need your thoughts. You feel just me? Just the serial killer fun. drive. <laughs> I listen to the wrong, bro. I think about a lot of shit. You know how we all think about, like, arguments, too. Like, shit we should have said. Like, you know what? What the fuck? We do that. We all do. I do mine on the road, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. That, that, that's why I asked, because... I had I, my homeboy, uh, him and his wife, they take like separate vacations. Like they'll go yeah. away, but but they, like I said, I, I maybe negotiate is the wrong word, but they, they talked it out to where they cool with them going, the one going to Cancun, the one going to the Bahamas, and they going for the week, they going with their folks. And they do that shit like every year. That's fine. Yeah. Hey, you know what, here's the thing, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Jay, go ahead, start over again, because when, whenever somebody else talks, you get muted out, so go ahead. Oh, I said, we do do that. Like we don't take every trip together, but I feel like everybody got to do what work in your relationship, but work mm -hmm. for you may not work for Pat, but as long as people, I just don't like not saying that y'all did this, but I hate when people be like, this is what I do. And this is what all you niggas need to do. Or your relationship <laughs> is trash, or your man is trash or your wife is trash. Like why y'all having these conversations with me? Like if your partner cool with what you're doing, then you good. <laughs> Yeah, I'll die. I 100% agree, Jay. And I, I always tell people, like, with marriage, there is no one size fits all. There is no cookie cutter uh, type of process that you can do. It's different for everybody, man. And whatever you and your partner are comfortable with, that's what y'all should do. And don't worry about outside influences because, like, I'm not going to stop getting my personal time. I'm not going to stop wanting to be alone. I'm not going to stop. Like, that's who I am. Like mm -hmm. inherently, that's who I am as into my core. And if I'm denied that, I'm not fun or cool to be around because I feel like I can't be myself. And I mm -hmm. feel like so many times in relationships, you take on the qualities and the actions of, of another person and you lose so much of your self-identity and you don't know how to react to certain situations because you have so much shit pent up. So you mm -hmm. might flip out of the slightest thing because you feel like 
you you've been holding that shit in for so long. Right. So I feel like don't don't listen to what everybody else is doing. Do what makes your house happy. Like that's that's what y'all should really go off of. That's just me though. Yeah, because who you are don't change just because you're in a relationship. You still that same person. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good. Lose, don't lose yourself. Because Jay, Sorry, social worker, I be trying to, I be getting deep on accident. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all grew up together, Jay. You and you and your now husband. Yeah. So so y'all know like all of that as you are growing or not. Here's the thing. Since we're growing up together, do I know? We know the core of each other. But as we're growing up, obviously, when you grow up, you change a lot. So, like, you got to try to figure out how to fit this new Jalen with this new CJ and how the hell they work together and how the old ways didn't work and what's new about you and what's new about me. And shit be changing every day and people be having different goals and shit. And it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work. So that's why I'm like, not into marriage easy i mean lightly because it's i love being married but it's not an easy task yeah. it's work yeah it's not for the week it's not for the week this shit is not for the it week. is not right now i'd be ready now, to fight this that, but really, 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 like realistically like it's marriage it can be a beautiful thing if you communicate you know what i mean you gotta you gotta say how you feel you know what i mean and if you don't take that time to be real with your partner, then you just going to be, you know, like you say, faking. You ain't going to be yourself in this marriage or this relationship. You're going to be faking it. You're going to hate it. You're like, ah, I'm just what this person want me to be. Nobody should like be. If you have, if you're in a relationship like that, then fuck it. You know, why are you there? You know what I'm saying? You can't be you, you know, like we all should be able to, you know, be us inside the relationship. I'm not saying be selfish, but still be us in a sense. You know what I mean? And yeah. marriage. I'm <laughs> <laughs> like a real tough gig I'm in right now. <laughs> I see Pat face over there. He was rolling up the blunt like, hey, man, my <laughs> boy, this shit out of here. That nigga <laughs> that, 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 coming over and go to sleep. What are you talking Pat, about? Man. Pat has been very vocal about not ever getting married. Like, married. Like, that's just, that's, that's where he's at with it right now. And man. I said the same thing, to be honest with you. I was like, that shit's stupid. And I still feel like the institution, for the most part, is challenged in the sense of being tied to somebody, tethered to somebody for the rest of your life. And like Jay said, like people change. Like just just about every ten years, your taste buds change, your habits change, sleeping patterns, all of that shit changes. So it really, like Richard said, it comes down to the communication, being able to communicate that, hey, I don't like this anymore. I don't like when you do this. I don't like it. And being able to lead with love when you say those things so people won't take offense to it. But I agree, it takes work. Like, love is enough to get married, but it's not enough to stay married. You have to work at that shit every fucking every day. day. Every day. Just okay. like a job. There's too much other shit to work on, though, dear. <laughs> There's too much other shit to work on. I can't, I'm just being honest as a young, you know, a young millennial in this world, like, bro, there's a lot to be taken care of like as young, it. successful entrepreneurs in this world, man, to think that I got to be worried about when I come, bro, I am not trying to hear that today. Like, I do not want that moment. I don't even want, like, you're dreading those moments. And half the time as men, we kind of know when those moments are coming. We're just like, yeah. here we go. Here Let me come. tell you about this bitch. Like, oh, oh. God. And the this. fact that I grew up yeah, and yeah. every single every single old head was like, ah, don't get married. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. no one listens. Everybody just gets married like, ah, should have listened. Oh, hey, just, hey, look, no, look, look bro, look. People, Like, don't get married. To keep it a buck, bro, I had this conversation with my wife. And I told her, and people would think it's weird of me to say, but I'm like, if you really think about it at its core, marriage is is pretty much an unnatural thing. You know what I mean? Given that we're born into this world by ourselves, then we have to take on this person's feelings, this person's everything for the rest of our lives. It's, it's a commitment. It's something that's why I like, like y'all, y'all like, no, nah, I don't want to do that. And it's not for everybody. I'm never one of the people, oh man, you should settle down. You out like, nah, bro, it's not for everybody. Like, I hate those people that's like, well, I'm married. When are you going to get married? Like, nigga, <laughs> it ain't for everyone. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the truth. But, and it's like a, it's like a strong business decision too. Like yeah, you is. take on that person's bad credit, good credit, everything. You take, you take on that person's aspirations, like they goals. Everything. You take on a whole bunch of shit. Everything. Also, I don't like I don't like how like, and then this ain't a shot at anybody who was in this situation, but like, <laughs> you know, fuck you, bro. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I knew a lot of people 
who 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 met the one yeah. at like 20, 22, 23, spent their whole twenties talking about like, I mean, I'm good. Like you guys just out here on these streets, and I'm good. Blah 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 blah. And then it don't work out, and they act like they're coming out of prison, a prison sentence. They just like okay. single for the first time. They're like, "What you guys doing now?" Like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> <laughs> it's like everybody. It, it literally seems like somebody coming out of a uh, like a, a a bunker for the apocalypse. So I just <laughs> that's I just what feel it like everybody's everybody I know that already did that. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. God oh, came in yeah. right on the perfect note. <laughs> Yeah, what up? Uh, what's going on, fellas and and, and ladies? We're we're, we're trashing marriage. And lady. <laughs> He's trashing <laughs> marriage. We're trashing marriage. No, um, don't trash marriage. I will get this married young. again. Why? I, I I will get married again because I enjoyed the dynamic of it, of just and the security that came along with it. But wouldn't you rather just have a a, a strongly committed re- relationship without the legal? Bind, yeah. That's you know what I like the legality of it. I like that part. Don't like that. And that's what, and that's what it really is. It boils down to is the legality of it. Um, that's why most people get married is for the legal reason. I mean, of course, there's love and the family dynamic and things like that. But realistically, it's the legality of it. And that's why, if you live with somebody for seven years, you're legally married. You know, yeah. like I forgot what kind of marriage it's called. Common law. Common so, law. So you still finna get married, fam. Okay? Like it don't matter if you want to or not. You be with somebody for seven years. You automatically wow, married after married. seven years. I didn't know yeah, about this. Yeah. 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 Uh, Texas is three years. Yeah, California. Yeah, yeah. If you know what state you're in. It's yeah. a certain yeah. number of years, and if y'all have lived in the same house all that time, y'all are married. Yep. Ah, that's how Janet got. You can't, you can't made, kick her out. Janet. Nothing. That technically is her house now too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 People to get married. Because you oh. you're living the life anyway. You are you are you living yeah. that life, technically. They said so, look fake, nigga. What you doing? Yeah. Yeah, let me ask you, Pat, because if you got a girl, y'all been together seven years and y'all living together seven years. What's what's keeping you what's what's the fear of well shit, I don't ever want to be married to her? What 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 is that? Make a left down Sherman way. Shit change. I'm gonna ask for shit changes, and I don't want to deal with. Uh, I as, I know you asked that question to Pat. Yeah, but no, you go. You asked me that same question. Shit changes. Mm-hmm. So that moment of two people and having to feel that that heartbreak in her eyes because seven years and we were supposed to. I thought this was gonna happen, but shit changes. I don't want to. I can't guarantee you the next day. I can't. In my but the person, reality man, of it is, it will always change. Okay. That's what, and that's when people give that excuse as to why they won't get married or why they, what, regardless of what you say, the days will pass, the months, the years will pass, and you are always at risk of that change. It's mm-hmm. the, being married is not going to stop the fact that shit won't change. So then, by that logic, it. why wouldn't you just keep it open? Yeah. Because, because, because the legality of it is, if you love somebody and you care about them, the, the realistically, because things change, something could happen to you. And you would like to make sure that the person that you with and you love is taken care of in the sense of if you are, if you do own property or you or you or you do have a certain amount of money, and that goes for men and women, you would like to know that that person is taken care of. You know, that's the legal part of it. The legal part of it is if something happens to you, who's responsible for you? If something happens to you, if you're in a coma, you know, there's so many things that can happen that you could just be left to shits with because you don't have you don't have that person. I ain't getting married that so that somebody person. can bury my body. Like what? <laughs> no, I'm not saying. You said bury my body. <laughs> hey, There's so much that I said. There's so I need somebody to plug me up that. this vegetable of a body in case a horrible accident happens. Please, man. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all you took out of that. That's all you took out of that. Right. That's all you took out of that. Imagine you being the breadwinner of your household and something happens to you. And the person that you love and the person that you care about is just left to shit. Imagine all your content that you created and you own, they can't do nothing about it and now get transferred to somebody else and lost into somebody else that you didn't build. 
your empire is lost because somebody can't be there to cover. I can tell Pat, Pat, like, I don't give a fuck. I'm not going to be here. What I ain't here no more. I, I, got these, I, got <laughs> I mean, that, I feel saying. like oh. that if, if, if you guys are responsible, you'd have those conversations and all that stuff. I don't But then what's the difference that. with the conversation of marriage then? Like, why would you not? Like, and that's the thing. To each his own, we all have different experiences with marriage. So to Pat, I respect Pat's opinion about marriage because he's just like, for what? But I think a lot of us that feel like we do want to be married or we don't, we don't mind marriage, a lot of us already have children who feel that way. I feel like this. Okay, I'm 30. Let's say I have 50, 60 years left on the planet, right? Right. We talking about the whole seven years thing. Seven years ago, I was a completely different person. Seven years from right. now, I'll be a completely different person. As you so should it's be. Like, I think it's wild to be like, all right, I got 60 years left. Let me just lock in with this one person forever, knowing, like you said, things are able to change. Now, if you want to, if you end up being with that person for the rest of that time, even better. That's great. You guys made it, made it, made it. And then if you, if you don't, like, let's say, let's say, you know, in 10 years, it's just like not there anymore. I think mm -hmm. it's important to have the option to do something else that, that, that pushes you or, or nurtures you as opposed to being like, all right, I'm really into this person. Let me lock this in for the next 60 years of my entire life. Be happy for like 10, 15 of those and just like die in that just because that's how it is in society. But Pat, you saying you, you also going on it just a negative thing. Y'all haven't yeah. really said of what happens if y'all staying for 60 years and you happy for 60 years. Yeah. You missing out on that. What? What? That person yet? Uh oh, somebody what? froze. What'd you say? What'd you say? Go on. I said I just don't think that maybe Pat hasn't met that person yet, and also, and this is one of the things I had to understand after I got divorced was that people will change every so many years. You're going to change. Your spouse is going to change, and part of having a successful marriage is understanding that that person is going to grow. That person is going to, and they shouldn't just change. They should grow. And the part of marriage is continuously and for the rest of your life dating and getting to know that person over and over again. But it's like, do is this is the person I want to get to know over and over again? You know, this is the person I want to watch grow and become something amazing. That's what marriage is to me. But I still do understand Patrick's complete take on it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You're I mean, making it seem like I'm cold, and I don't believe that. I don't you think so. Cold, I don't you think so. Cold. I, I'm not. I'm not saying it's like you're, people are are cold and they can't love someone for the rest of their life. That that can happen. I'm just saying, why can't you do that without the marriage title? Like, even if you want the whole ceremony and all that stuff, cool. I'm down with all of that. But I'm just talking about the actual legal well, tie. The the marriage. You don't want to be a husband. You don't want to be a husband. Ew. <laughs> don't change nothing. <laughs> don't change nothing. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Man, right? okay, let me let me let me tell you let me, let me say this real quick. So yeah. I have a I have a close friend. He was on College Hill, right? And he saw his career and his life going one way, right? And right after College Hill, he had a terrible bike accident, right? Mm -hmm. Like had an accident, broke both his arms, all that type of stuff. The woman that he was dating at the time took on the responsibility to take care of him. She gave him baths. She had to wipe his ass while he she shit, all of that type of stuff. And had him and her not had a previous relationship that was built on some type of foundation of love, trust, and communication, he would have just been asked out. Like, he wouldn't have had nobody to do that and be there for him. And, Pat, I completely understand where you're at, bro, because I, I was there at one point. But having somebody that will not judge you for your shits, having somebody that will be there for you um, all the time and not, like, just be there and love you truly and honestly, bro, it's a different type of feeling. That's all I'm going to say. Right. That was enough. Man, shit. Yeah. City boy. <laughs> you break every limb on your body. You ain't got nobody there to wipe your ass or brush your teeth. <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I feel like I feel like if you have that person, you have that person. It's not like somebody who's legally obligated to do all that stuff, you know. But the law is the law. If y'all been together for a certain amount of time in whatever state you in, and y'all decide to separate, because Pat, you like fuck this, I'm ready to leave. I didn't change in seven years, eight years. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta divide some shit up, and that's where the law come in. 
Maybe. <sighs> All I got to say is I can't feel my feet no more. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like <laughs> the that from the tequila. tequila? You've been over there taking some real shots too on the load. Like fuck this, fuck this chaser. <laughs> you see, I, I, I hope the car feet. didn't say that and she's driving. Wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to God. We just had another person pull up, Pat. Uh, somebody else here to wish you happy birthday, man. Hey, what up? Hey, hey Patrick. Let me just How you put doing, up. dog? Hey, you said what? You're my little Virgo, baby. Happy birthday. How you feeling today, Dom? Hey, St. Angela. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Hey, girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, go Is St. Angela your rap name or something? Pat <laughs> <laughs> act like he just met you. <laughs> no. I just sound like this. This is just Pat, so I just know what I'm going to get. So it's like, don't, don't react anymore. I just took my sweater off. What are you doing in the club? All right, what are you doing? I'm to go to bed. I'm going to get food. Oh, okay. Carl out here. No mask, out here. You just out there in them streets. You <laughs> like up there breathing, taking in taking all up, the eggs on Gibber. Up. Hi. Where your mask Can I put at, myself on the menu? I'm not going inside. Oh. Um, yeah, hi. She put on the I club to go dress. To I have no mask. Yeah. No, no. She tried to get some <laughs> extra shit in her bag. That's why she dressed like that. <laughs> all right. Can I, yeah. Throw some more extra rights in there while you at it. Dom, how was your day, yo? Uh, it was interesting, you know. Um, I have to drive to Chino in the morning to do an off-site training because our off-site facility does not know how to follow directions. So here I am. I was supposed to actually be on my way to catch for a birthday, but because I have to be somewhere like at 6.30 in the morning, I will not be partaking in the drinking festivities for my friend's birthday. Wait, where, where's catch? It's supposed to be a catch. What's that? Catch 21? Catch LA on Melrose. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Never heard of it. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. So, okay. Yeah. You gotta have reservations. They don't let a lot of us in there. The <laughs> they don't can. let a lot of y'all in there, Kente. You too, nigga. You too. <laughs> you too. Hey, Kente, hey, I'm not black, I'm OJ. <laughs> Just because you sip in okay. that cup like that don't mean they're gonna let you has in. Any of yeah. Has any of y'all okay. got the COVID test done? Yeah, I got the COVID yeah. test. I get Girl, I got that COVID test done today. I, I didn't know they stick that thing so far up your nose. I think they hit the reset button on me. Girl, I only got the mouth. <laughs> so I've been just the top, like, I haven't gotten that one. I've only got the car. They put a chip in you. That's what they just did. Honey, like, they reset my my blinkers was going off. My arm won't stop shaking. It was just uh, shit. Jesus. The way your mouth. They got one they do in your mouth now, don't they? That's the only one I've had is in my mouth. No pun intended. <laughs> oh, it's all all somebody came in. All all the only time I put is in my mouth. Yeah. I'll wait till we can go. Yay, COVID. COVID. <laughs> yes. It was terrible. <laughs> and and the, the crazy thing is that when the guy did it, he knew he knew it was gonna piss me off. He knew it. He said, So I'm gonna go up your nose real quick. It ain't gonna be that bad. I was like, and I just looked at him and he said, it's, it's going to be uncomfortable. And mid stick up my nose, I was tearing and I just looked at him. And when he pulled it out, I said, I'm going to fuck you up. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. I was so serious. I was so I angry. Was doing his it job. was so painful. I think it was just doing his and job. And then he said they have to do it. He said they have to do it every week. I said, so you get stuck every week? He was like, no, actually, I do it myself. I said, you stick this up your own nose every week? Yeah, nope. And if, you, if you're working on a Fire SAG me. project, you got to do it like every week. Jobless out hours. here. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the homie on set right now, and he was like, yo, they've been testing us before we started filming. It was like, yeah. we got we to gotta make sure before you even come out here. Yep. And then every other day right. you get tested. Well, yeah. All right. Okay. Happy, Pat, how old you turning? I turned 31. And you don't look at day oh, 21. It? I used to feel huh. the way you feel like at 31. Huh? You what? froze. <laughs> no, I didn't froze. I was just, I was just doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I so am what you doing much. for your birthday, Pat? What are you going to do? 
How you planning it? What you doing today? You gonna have a little smoke and smoke or drink and drink drink? Well, it's already it's already eight thirty. It's kind of over, but <laughs> I had uh, I had uh, wings and like a whole bunch of food at the house. Okay. Um, my I was showered with gifts from from my family in the Cloud Village, which I'm I'm, I'm very appreciative of. And and after this, I'm probably going right. to play dominoes. When my dad gets home, we're gonna play dominoes and get drunk and stuff like that. So as let me ask oh, you Pat question. out one time and Pat. The, whatever you think Pat is like is exactly what he's like when he's out in public. Pat is like really just like laid back, chill, eyes down, drink up a little bit, bopping his head to whatever music's on, just like the most, I think I saw you at the dime and he was just like so lack at the dime. Just like normally you see people, they be turned up that? a little bit. At the I, dime? See, and, he, and he was drunk. So um, oh this God. had to be about, I don't even remember how many months ago this was, but you had, you kept telling me, I'm a little, <laughs> with, with your hand, you wouldn't say anything. I'm a little, a little fucked and up. I said, yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay. And then your song would go on and you would just be this. This is just Pat the whole time. Back at the bar, back on the dance floor. And I, I said, don't Pat know is where exactly... or when this was. That's amazing. It was at the dime. It was probably like a month before, maybe two months before all this happened. And we were at the dime. And you kept telling me, and I'm drunk. <laughs> I said, okay. I started that's with exact, Andy. Let's say, yeah, I'm, yeah, and I'm drunk. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, me and my friend, we, you know, smoked a little weed. You said you had weed. You said you were really high. And then you said you were really drunk. And then you don't remember any of it. Dog, I ain't been to the dime in like 10 years. Huh? huh? I ain't been to the dime in like 10 years. Because I always feel like I'm going to have an asthma attack. Well, it's not, Pat's it's been a, there. It's I, go, I go on weekdays. I don't go on weekends. Oh, yeah. yeah weekdays we, is, we, right we, right is the move. I don't never go to yeah. clubs on the, on the weekends. Shikara, so is like, your hair blue? It's gray. She got the storm hair, uh, y'all. Storm, the hold, on, hold on one second. Hold on one second, y'all. I want to show y'all something real quick. Uh, this is uh, something that... Uh, it is, you got a pull up, Pam. This nigga searched thick midgets on point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is great. Aw, why they got his face like this in that picture? This is great. You know it's 18 minutes though, right? I'm not gonna do that whole thing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful. Hey, I watched this this morning with the biggest smile on my face, man. This your boy Buka Poo. Oh, damn. Birthday shout to my guy Patrick Cloud, man. Love you, bro. Thanks for everything you do. Thanks for the support. You know, and, and like happy it. birthday. Yeah, I'll be yeah, driving, nigga, salute. Tyler, let me land. It's your boy, yeah, Buka yeah. Pong. Yeah. Happy That's birthday, Big Pat. That's the so I've ever seen, Boo. He <laughs> <laughs> just told me to salute. Hold on, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. I saw, oh, okay, yeah, here we go. All right, let's get, let's get with Richard real quick. Uh, Dad, I think you're a real light, so keep being the light and shit. And keep running your feelings. And shit. I'm just rambling and shit. I love you. Have a great birthday, okay? Cloud, what's the word, Chief? I ain't doing nothing. I'll be clipping my toenails by the time you watch this, most likely. <laughs> but I'm going to wish you a happy birthday, my brother. I know it sucks, you know, celebrating your birthday during unprecedented times like these, but I know you're going to turn up as usual, Cloud. This boy smooth as hell. God yeah, damn. He put on the, exactly. the radio <laughs> voice. Thank you, bro. Enjoy. Happy <laughs> birthday. Hey, I woke up from a nap. I I wow, what it is, what it do, man. It's your main man, Slink Johnson, man. We still watch all of these right now? <laughs> no, 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 no we not. Wild Cheetah Submission Hold Champion, founder of the I just thought Slink was Smoke hilarious. Crew, <laughs> Wishing you a very, very, very happy and exquisite birthday, pimp. And many, 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 many more to come, man. Do your shit, Pat. Much love, man. You know I got a lot of love for you, man. You're a great guy. Talented dude, man, and it's the, the sky's the limit, man. Do your shit, man. You know what I'm talking about? The world is yours, pimp, and you're a real player, and I said that, man. So enjoy your day. Enjoy and he your said life. that, man. I said that, man. Never forget, <laughs> smoke yours. Yo, what up? 
Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. So many of y'all did this with your shirt off. I just did not understand it. I was like, are all y'all just waking up and shooting this? What is that? <laughs> Bro, we, I, I, was, I was still on the... Uh, I was still on on vacation when I did it for, did, did the video, so yeah, it was it was it was. I was like, hey man, this is hey, what you gonna you get, motherfucker. So shut your fuck ass up. Do you see the difference between Slink's wife beater and Tony Baker's wife beater? Tony <laughs> Baker was a safe uncle. Slink is get them kids away from Slink in the wife beater. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where your mama at? <laughs> yeah. Hey, tell her come outside. Oh, he was definitely boy. giving big boy. Uh, what was that? Baby boy vibes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like Bing Rains, he will beat your ass. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to, shout out to uh, Luella and uh, uh, the Lazy Cajun for putting that together, man. That was really nice. That was dope. That was dope, man. Yeah, they, Did you they watch all 18 stopped. minutes of it? He That's didn't watch did. 18 minutes. Hell no. Nah. Yes, I did. I sat there and watched all of it. He said, yes, I did. Who <laughs> ended it? Who ended it? Who was the last person? Uh, who was the last person? Pat, really? <laughs> oh, that's wow. I met my parents. My parent, my family was the last people. No, no, Ryan. Ryan, they, they saved Ryan for last. It's 18 minutes long. I'm sorry I didn't have it ready to go. My parents, my, they, were, they were last. Like, God damn. Yeah, nah, his, bro his brother Ryan was the last one. His brother Ryan was the last one. Yeah. I'm just fucking with you, Pat. I was just <laughs> putting it out there. Ryan, Ryan, Ryan was the last one. Did you time me? <laughs> I thought it was Will though, the way he answered, like, oh nigga, you don't even remember? I don't know, it's your family. It's the quickest thing to remember. I don't remember. I mean, there was a lot of them. I don't remember like which one took us out, but oh, she back. Hey. <laughs> the girl, when are you going to get that food though? Uh, I ordered it. I just gotta go get in a little bit. Add sauce and beer. Okay. All right. All right. Go back. You Ooh, went there to order, and then you're going back. To I got so well because I have my I have my little I have my youngest daughter with me, and she wanted to go home, and I live like maybe a two minute drive, um, and it's gonna take about thirty minutes, so I can just sit home for twenty minutes and then go back. And yeah. why not call in though? Because uh, I was already outside. And she probably want to pay fifteen dollars for them to come for like a two minute drive. Like, Bruh, that's that far right there. That's just ridiculous. I just order something that costs eight ninety nine, and when it, the bill comes, it's thirty seven dollars. I'm like, right. it's just um, ridiculous. If it's between grown and thirty one. Thank you, Richie Loco. Thank you. Pay fifteen dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Richie Loco. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What you working on, bro? Hmm? Richie drinking wine. What you drinking? Big ass glass though. I don't know, my wife. She she just got the wine. I just say pour up. Like I appreciate you. You know what I mean? Like I don't be into names. It's just if I can feel something off. We were talking people. all this marriage stuff. Why you ain't say nothing? Oh, he said. I did. I said something. Oh, I music. came in late. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I let Richard you have the floor though. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna let you have the floor because you was preaching. So I'm just back oh, here. You know, it's in. different, ain't it? Yeah, it is. I just and I'm just, and I'm divorced, and I still want to get married again. I told him I just celebrated 14 years. Um, wow. Yeah, in the 18th, yeah. Um, but I will say this though, unlike you, Takar, if I if not knock on wood, whatever that's at, me and my wife ever leave each other, I'm never getting married again. I'm gonna keep you wanna get married again. Hey, hey. I, I've, been, I've been there, done that. I'm gonna keep Richie, it real. I'm probably gonna be a hoe. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> life is some bullshit though. You don't this you don't wanna hang out here. You ain't know. nothing out here, Richie. Just <laughs> nothing, bro. I did it, but I have, I, I, I've had the spouse. I've had every, like if I had it before, I'm like I know what that life is like, and I'm not looking for anything else out there. I'm just like yo, I'm just gonna be in the wind. You get what I'm you saying? Said we've been to work, baby. I hope you hear that. Pour it up. How old are you? Huh? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 33. Oh, how long you got married? 12? That's all. Like how long? 19. <laughs> Yeah. You got married at your senior prom. Yeah, but I feel married. like, but I always at the fifth period. <laughs> I always feel like Richie was, Richie was for sure that nigga who had a necklace with a sweetheart in it. Like, yep, uh -huh. this is her, right? Here. The two that connected together. <laughs> this is her right here, man. Yeah, this is all me, guys. You know. Like, look, it's my old lady, you're 19. Yeah, it's my old lady. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's what I look forward to come home to, guys. That's what it's all about. You know? but I always feel man. like. I always feel like people who get married really young, they stay. They, those are the ones that stay together. No, uh, I know so many people that divorced to Cara. Like, oh, yeah. they got married after high school. They Everybody I know that got married after high school. At most, I can't say 
You know, most of them are still together. The majority, I mean, I know some that the separated, majority, but the majority of them are still together. They still all together. All the niggas with all them kids divorced. In my DMs, like I want their baby mama drama. I got some divorced 28 year olds out here and they'll lose. <laughs> okay. No, look, I'm gonna tell y'all, man, me and my wife, we were both in the military. We were both in the Navy, right? And mm -hmm. I got stationed down in San Diego. She got stationed in San Diego. And I was like in the ass crack of California, which is a more California. No, no disrespect to anybody living there, but no, it's the ass crack. Uh, yeah, it's terrible, right? So, um, in order for us to like, we would drive, we commuting back and forth like five hours, man, like to see each other on weekends. I'm like, yo, this shit is becoming like tiresome, like. And then, so I told her like, yo, you want to get married? She like, what? Why are we get? I'm like, she like, well, we only date. And I'm like, if the shit don't work, we just get a divorce. Who cares? Like. Like, like, why not? Oh, I love that. Eight, yeah, we got married eight months after knowing each other. And like I said, we celebrate 14 years, man. So, yeah. So I, I know you. that part, Richie. Y'all yeah. yeah. went into it like jagged edge. Y'all hit him with the, we, we ain't getting no younger. We might as well do it. I mean, I <laughs> she, she was younger, but we was extremely young. <laughs> <tough. laughs> that's all it does, man. Hey. <laughs> I've been looking at their boyfriends right now. They've been together for three years, looking at them on the couch like yeah. eight months. <laughs> eight <laughs> months. I've been with you for three years. Eight wow. months they got married. Richie, oh, you hell. got married because you was tired of spending that goddamn gas money. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what's in this car. I had, a, I had a V8. I'm like, yo, I'm only going to see you once a month now unless we're going to get married because. You know what I mean? Like, we well, Chevron is responsible no. for your happiness. Chevron. That's amazing, though, man. I bet he did that laugh and drink the wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm working on my respectful. fingers laugh, so that's why I do that a lot. That's so cute, though. I think that's dope. Y'all got, got kids? You got, I got two kids. Maybe he's going to get married in three months. Shit. Who want to get married yeah. in three months? You? Maybe. But I'll be calling people back. I'm terrible. <laughs> Yeah, you, yeah, you can't get married if you don't call him back. You might want to work on that. I get distracted. You know, life be happening. COVID. <laughs> COVID, <laughs> oh, that COVID been like, around. COVID right. just got here. Life be happening. COVID, you know. <laughs> Next oh, week is going to be something else, you know. I feel it's like that's what you say to the Cleo, and Cleo Cleo like, Why you ain't on? call me back? You a nigga COVID. I forgot Cleo was on here. Hi, Cleo. Man, be so quiet. I'm just enjoying the conversation. It's so great to see OG speak like this, man. Like we need that. We need that type of stuff. So it's yeah. great to see you. Did you get married, Cleo? Yeah. No. He playing the game. I see the controller. No. Put it. You you, you didn't hide it well enough. I saw it. Okay. <laughs> no, but no, I'm not getting married to Car. I can't. Have you ever it. been married? Hell no. Oh, okay. I mean, I don't know. How old are you, Cleo? Thirty-two. You got time. Yeah. Which, when birthday? How old were you when you got married? January thirtieth. It's like for me, like my parents I'm are high school. Aquarius, there it is. My parents are high school sweethearts, so I, I like I saw that as love. I saw what that was like for them to be fresh out of high school, military. They go all over the place and you know travel the world, and then boom, they start the family. I'm the oldest of my four siblings, so like that was the definition of love for me. But then you know I go on road, I go on tour, and I see married women taking uh, wedding rings off just to come kick it with celebrities, and I was like, that's a different definition of love. So I saw That's very wide, I, first, I saw a very wide spectrum to car. So I'm like, can't trust this crazy shit out here. So I got my own little demons. I got to fight on that one. Right. Mm. Dang. But don't let, don't let things like that. It, it, I think one of, I think a lot of us do that. We let uh, just society um, just not dictate, but just cloud our judgment on something that we really want and really like, or really, you know, it sounds like you really like marriage, it's something you would do had you not seen a hoe take a ring off. Um, <laughs> don't let the road show. Yeah, don't let the. <laughs> like your hoe. Fuck you. He had a ring in his. He had a ring in his pocket, like, ready to propose in his pocket when he got home, and then he looked up and saw Mary pull a ring off to go hang out with Ja Rule, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring back to the store and give me a chance. I ain't gonna do this. Hey, hey. But the phone was ringing all night and she kept hitting the vibrate button. I'm like, She's not happy oh. at home, Cleo. Right. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be there. there it's, it's 50 like, percent. God damn, I gotta go home. That, you know, I don't mean that's gonna be you. That don't mean it's gonna be you. That could be, you gotta put work in. Because uh, you know what type of marriage you want. You know what type of woman you would like to be with and you just gotta 
Sure. Find, you know, let her come to you and then do what you know a husband is supposed to do. Those women ain't happy. Mm -mm. They married. You know? Yes, ma'am. You right. Yes, ma'am. To here, are you to here? Are you are you guys getting married? Let me ask you. They married. They y'all married? They, yeah, to here, been married. I've been married seven years. Seven years. Seven. I didn't know. I didn't know y'all were married, bro. I, I, didn't know, I didn't know that. You wouldn't pay attention. I, I, I kept, I kept my eyebrows. He really didn't up, know. Up until this year, I never really talked about my personal life. Ever. Okay, that's ever, what I'm saying. Uh, I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, no, nobody, nobody really knew like that. But yeah, I never really talked about my personal. I kept my personal life very personal. Okay, for sure. I feel you. Sure. So wait, you didn't know when you came over to the house? You didn't say you, you. I never heard you say my wife. You just we referred to her by her name. So I'm like, I know I, I refer. Yeah, I, like we don't call the kid by her name. We say the kid. Like we don't. Okay. We don't say like we keep everything very like surface, except for like like I mean I don't know. I guess if you hang around us long enough, you'll see that. But yeah, we yeah we yeah. Oh, okay. At this point, okay. at this, I mean, I mean, out in California, you got ten years, so she got three years to get half. If she don't mess up for three years, she mess around and get half. But okay. three years, uh, well, I'm, I'm not, I'm like, I've been knowing y'all for some time. I didn't know you was married. I didn't know Pat was actually in his thirties. And this shit is crazy. Like I'm feeling like I'm just now meeting y'all for the first time. I still think this nigga Pat is lying. But <laughs> I, I don't feel like you asked enough real questions. <laughs> I said you a real fucked up fan, Richie. That's All you had to do was be like, "Hey, to hear who is that?" Who is that? <laughs> Cleo, that in the comments they said you was the one she was cheating with, cause how you know her phone was going off all night. Right. <laughs> oh, good question. So for the comments saying that, no, I was not the one. Mm -hmm. I was in shock for the rest of that night. I was just sitting there looking at her like, how you know what's her man? Really gonna do this? She's you know. Okay. Yeah, you know. I like, I like how you saw the entire process of her taking off the ring and it, like you saw her whole character arc. But <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, hey, you, bro, I was too hip to game. I'm like, okay, bet. Then I, I see her doing this, thinking about it, and then boom, and then purse. Phone, uh, and this is back when it was the flip phone. It was the <laughs> Motorola. It was the Motorola Razor V3. That's the phone she had. I'll never forget. It was a pink one. I know. I know what toy that was. That's like 2000. Yeah, you let somebody scar you in the old one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Nelly was out. It's getting hot in here. That's the time you want. This nigga you let Nelly fuck you up. This nigga saw somebody uh, take their ring off for Murphy Lee. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, yeah, I could have seen like, man, fuck, man. He's like, nigga, this shit wild out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is That's funny. That's funny. Murphy Lee. Oh, who is that? Who just, who just added? Who coming in here right now? Somebody else coming in? No. Yeah, somebody else coming in. We got, on the pop we right got now. an unlocked character coming in right now. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit him with that shield yeah. on your neck. <laughs> <laughs> if you talk for an hour and 50 minutes, you unlock Dizziac. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Negro? Hey. Oh, Happy funny. birthday, what up, D? What up, D? What's up, niggas? What's niggas? Up, good, bro. <laughs> What's up, Richie? What's good yeah. with you, my brother? Cleo? What up with you, D's? Shit, man, chilling. Can take. Oh, it's a lot. Damn, it's a lot of people. Takara, Saint. Hi. Can take this day alone. How y'all doing? Like a high-ass yeah. Brady bunch in here. High-ass <laughs> Brady, hilarious. It's a, it's a, it's a fly, it's a fly nigga birthday. Hey, it's a fly nigga. How old are you, man? Oh, I'm turning 31. I'm officially <laughs> in the 30s. I was, I was hanging on to the edge. I was at the bottom of the 30s, but now I'm in here. Now you in there, man. Hey, Pat, you ain't told nobody in your life how old you were. Ever. <laughs> what you mean? Everybody. Everybody is coming up and like, hey, so how old are you? Bro, I don't remember him turning 30 at all. I could have sworn you were 29. <laughs> this year? This whole year? Yeah, when you hit 30, that's what I'm trying to figure out. That was last year. <laughs> that's your podcast partner. Right. <laughs> I've, been, I, I've been 30 for a whole year. I don't know where y'all been. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious because like a nigga will turn 30 and somebody like Richie will be like, nigga, how long you been 30? I feel like I don't know you. It's like, nigga, I just got here. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I don't know you. I feel like you lied to me, bro. That's all. That's <laughs> funny. <clears throat> well, listen, we down for the last, last 10 minutes of the uh, of the podcast, man. So if anybody has any donations, 
Um, you can go ahead and thank people now. Uh, if you want to tell them what you got coming up, you can do that as well. And also, if you have anything you want them to look out for, you can tell them that and where they can follow you as well. So let's go. Uh, Kente, Richie, Jay Allure, um, and then we'll we'll pick it up from there. Oh, okay. Uh, C. Shall C. Shilo, appreciate you and uh, Ernestine L for the Cash App donations. I uh, got my podcast. I do with my sister. Uh, what sibling rivalry the podcast? Check it out at Kentagious. Got a lot of stuff checking out. Got my YouTube page. Everything across the board is at Kentagious. Got merchandise. Kentagious comedy. You need a shirt? Holla at your boy. All right. Richie Logo. Oh yeah, uh, man. Appreciate um, Jose Martinez, AJ Brown. What's this? Claudia Smith. Jessica Pena, Raul the Guzman, and Kevin, I'm say Chancellor. I believe that's what it is. I'm sorry, but um, I've been drinking a little bit. But thank y'all, man, for the donations. Uh, man, you can uh, follow me everywhere on social on uh, at Richard Neville's R, Richie Loco. Um, you can check me out on uh, Insecure as uh, Curtis Carter. Um, Perfectly Single on uh, uh, Amazon. And the second chance as well. And that's pretty much it, man. And lastly, hey. uh, I want to say everybody, this whole panel, man, I appreciate this. I've been in, I've been like depressed because all was going on with society and shit, man. Y'all really brighten my night tonight. So thank y'all so much. Every last minute. Thank you. Real talk. Real talk. Oh, real. Same hey, low key, the, best, the best thing about tonight was like watching Richie every now and then sip from that big ass cartoon. <laughs> just like, every now and then he'd just be like. <laughs> let's go um uh jay jay allure what you got for us um shit well shout out to xavier because <laughs> i'm on my phone so i don't just want to throw down but shout out to all of y'all. I think it was like seven of you. And to the person who asked if I would follow them back, I will as soon as I see who exactly you were. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can definitely listen to all of my music. You can listen to my podcast, Relax, Relate, Repeat. It comes out every Thursday. Um, I'm out here. Follow me on Instagram. You'll see everything I'm doing. I got a web series coming up soon. So just make sure you tuned in so you can see all the stuff that I'm doing. And thank you to here for having me. Um, yeah, thank you for having me. I had a good time. All right, let's go. Uh, Cleo, Dom, I'm Cleo, Takara, and Will. Cool. Um, thank you guys for having me. Of course, Patrick Cloud's birthday, man. Happy to see you living, bro, doing your goddamn thing. Yeah, I've, I've told you multiple times how highly I think of you, bro. Your mind is just, everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. Um, be on the lookout for everything coming from the RK Tokens, myself, Will Farrow, Patrick Cloud, uh, a lot of gaming content. We got something really special coming up this week that we're going to try. I'm excited for I hope everyone, does anyone here have an air fryer? I do. Yeah. Okay, you'll see. Life changing. Game changer right there, buddy. Cool, cool. Just stay tuned for that. Uh, Social media wise, at Cleo Thomas across the board. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the Twitch channel. And uh, yeah, man, I appreciate you for having me here today, Tier. Oh, for sure, bro. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The car, what you got? Um. Okay, so uh, happy birthday, Pat. I'm glad I made it Um. to get on here and say happy birthday. It's a dope lineup we got tonight. Um. Just follow me on Instagram. Everybody who sent money to my cash app, thank you. I love you. Um. And just follow me on Instagram at Takara Comedy Takara Williams on everything y'all already know. Uh, Headboard Gang and every Monday at six p.m. I have my podcast on YouTube for everybody that's been following. Thank you. Love. I'm um, liking and you know rewatching whatever y'all be doing. I appreciate it. Um. It's every Monday at six p.m. It's called Life After Divorce Podcast, and we just cover everything relationship and this week i will have a life skills coach on there with me so it's gonna be good and just tune in and thank you to hear and y'all dope oh. i'm going to get my food bye all right <laughs> headboard gang headboard gang headboard. Dom, what you got for the people hi so saint angeles is actually my instagram <coughs> page patrick but happy birthday tricky and um <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. So yeah, I have my uh, candle line coming out. Um, should be here in a couple weeks. So I'm super excited. It's St. Angela's candle. Very bougie, like myself. So y'all see me, y'all money. You know, it's a very limited run. Then I might restock. I might do something different. But I'm super excited about it that I follow through with something. So yeah, shout out to me. And thank you guys for having me on. And I've had an amazing time. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go, Will, DZ, and uh, Pat. Michelle, uh, first off, happy birthday, Pat. Uh, I don't believe you're 31, but uh, happy birthday. I'm going to keep grilling you until I find out your real age. Uh, secondly, to here, thank you so much for having me on Zoom with the homies. I love this show. Glad to be on here. Uh, thirdly, y'all are all dope as hell. I uh, follow all of y'all content, man. Keep creating. Keep being great. Keep uh, supporting. Uh, chat them keep supporting them uh follow me everything is will farrell twitch youtube facebook uh facebook gaming uh, check out my youtube as well with uh, farrell's vault straight out of a comic book and uh check out my music blueberries and lemonade and my new album dropping january 80s cocaine music okay hey. Hey. Oh, no, the music coming okay what you got dz uh shit, man uh thank you uh, first and foremost uh happy birthday pat man i'm sorry i couldn't be here earlier um, shit, man. Uh, thank you for having me, Tier. I appreciate you. I was already kind of faded. Um, I came here to get faded and take shots with y'all, but I came a little late. So uh, I just want to, I just want to toast, uh, toast to the man of the hour. You feel me? Uh, yeah. This is birthday. It is empty. That's how I need to pat. Uh, keep doing what you're doing, my brother. You've been a huge inspiration to me and in my career. Um, so has every, everybody on this panel, honestly. Um, and, and a tremendous amount of ways, but you know what I'm saying? It's birthday boy. But shout out to you, nigga. You 31, you old as fuck, nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop wearing shirts and slippers soon, but you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just playing. You know how to do that. Uh, yeah, I already But toast to you, my brother. Shots up. Um, I got some merch coming. It's already halfway out. You know what I'm saying? We're just doing a promo run on it. I got some of it on right now. This was an accident, and it just turned into a, you know what I'm saying? We rolling with it, so uh, be on the lookout for that. Um, I just started twitching the shit, so just follow me on the Twitch. All the all the uh, social medias is DZAC. I'm stumbling right now because I'm, I'm kind of faded, though. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Twitch is Pastor Stick Seven. To hear, shout out to you, man, for doing this. This is a fucking great idea. It's just, yeah, man, this is just amazing, bro. And shout out to all of y'all and everybody around the world. And nothing but love and kindness to everybody. Everywhere. That is appreciate you, bro. Pat, what's good, bro? How you feeling? And first of all, man, I, I appreciate this so much. The fact that you guys jumped on here, everybody else who jumped on here, everybody in the chat. Um, it's, it's overwhelming, man. You guys have been hit, blowing me up all day with love, gifts, um, you know, everybody who hit my cash app, just even throughout the day and on the show. Thank you so much. This is this is crazy. The, the everyone who did the vi the videos. Uh, the village, the, you know, the, the the arrangement of gifts that I got. It's just, it's a, it's, it's a lot. So I just want to, you know, give a, a a huge shout out to everybody. Thank you guys so, so, so much for making my birthday what it was. It was, it was just, it's dope. And you know, it's like it's quarantine. You know, no, you can't really do anything. Can't really uh, uh, everybody's birthday. You know, like earlier in the quarantine, if somebody had a birthday, it's just like, ah, sucks, you know, like, sorry it had to happen, but it's like, nigga, it's still happening. I didn't think it would happen this long, so. <laughs> oh, everybody get a taste of quarantine birthday. Right? In March, you're just like, ah, oh, sorry, it's a shitty day to have a birthday. But... <laughs> that was L's for everybody. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I just, I'm, I'm so appreciative for, for all the love, all the gifts, the videos, you guys for, you know, jumping on here and, and jumping in the, the, the birthday video. It means a lot. So thank you. Thank you guys so much. I don't even want to talk about what I'm got going on. Just patch your cloud on everything, but I appreciate everybody. Happy birthday, Pat. Uh, go buy that nigga merch, man. Sell that shit out again. Yeah. yeah. And lastly, too, it. before we go, hey, I got to go, but thank you to here, too, man. You awesome, dude. I don't think people yeah. give you your flowers to here. You a real solid dude, yeah, and man. I appreciate this platform you're giving people, bro, and I love you, bro, and I and I look forward to seeing more of what you're doing, man, seriously. Yeah. Big yeah. back on everything here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. A real shot to the dude, man. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Uh, appreciate y'all, man. I'm going to give you the real credit you deserve, man, but you you were, you were OG. Solid as they come, man. Solid as they come. You a great nigga. 
Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, later, man. All yeah. right. Richie, I know you got to get out of here, man, so I'll catch up with you tomorrow, bro. Um, All right, Rich. Thank you, Pat. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you. For everybody else, man, thank y'all for watching right, another episode. Right, uh, I want to give uh, a big shout out to, buh, 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 buh. let's go with um, Janine Johnson, Jessica Wright, C. Shallow taking the stage, Jose Martinez, Muhammad Duell, uh, J Mo. Thank y'all so much for the uh, donations. Shout out to the More Mob and all the mobs on the YouTube channel, man. Uh, if you guys want to donate to them, it's More Mods. Uh, on Cash App, you guys, it's in my, my my window right now. We got one more episode of Zooming with the Homies this week. That's going to be tomorrow, 7 o'clock, uh, PST. And a uh, new episode of Wording is Hard came out today with Trevor Wallace. It's going to be amazing. Tomorrow night on the lineup, we have, uh, as it stands, Jay Phillips. Um, damn, where's that? Uh, Jay Phillips, Matt Reif. Chinadu and a special guest. So you got to tune in and see who the special guest is tomorrow night. It's gonna be a great show. Um, yeah, man, just just keep keep supporting, man. Keep keep coming out, keep supporting. We appreciate it. Um, Friday we have another new episode of Best Sound Listen to Party. That's me, Tony Baker, and Joshy Guns. That's gonna be great as well. And then on the weekends, man, give y'all a little time to uh, to relax a little bit. Shout out to the Rewatch Gang, man. They come in after the show is over and they watch the whole thing. Like I said, I tune in, I tap in about 7 seven a.m. and the chat is still going. It's popping like it's going right now. So shout out to everybody in the rewatch game. Shout out to the more mob. A big shout out to the scary squad. Um, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to knock out this episode of Damn It and That You Scary tonight. Uh, but you know, I've been drinking too, so it's, it'll be up there. It'll be up there before eight o'clock. But more than likely, it'll still be up at six because I'm habitual perfectionist. Um, Shout out to uh, the More Mob. You guys can join the Patreon, get into the Discord. Uh, Discord. A uh, lot of fun stuff going on there. And I release new content every week exclusively for the Discord. They saw an episode of me and Heidi on Wording is Hard. They probably won't drop for about a month and a half. They saw the raw cut today. So join the Discord. You see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. We still trying with Erica Badu. She has not responded yet. God damn it. Angeles. But uh, anyway, man, thank y'all so much for watching. It's been another episode of with the Homies. I'll talk to everybody later. Peace out, guys. Man, Angelus, you ain't gonna call that person back? That's the person you was waiting for. That's not, no, this, that, that's nobody. That's my friend. That's nobody. Like, oh, man. No, that's not nobody. Like, he's watching this, he's watching this right now, like. <gasps> no, it's literally, literally, he doesn't get excited for women, so like. No, that's my oh. friend. Oh, okay. All right. I got that, that one. Got it, got it, got it. He said he don't get excited for women. Doesn't <laughs> 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 <laughs>